All right, everybody, and welcome to the Notorious Arena League, home of the best crews on the seas. Oh, yeah. I'm your host, Rach Trucks, and joining me, the one, the only, Aku. What's up, y'all? Let's go. Thanks for the raid, man, and thank you for the sub. So much uh, of the draft. Uh, well, goodness, it's... Uh, came together because of your pitch so let's go yeah super excited finals day man finals day yesterday was super exciting we saw 10 teams go at it it was absolutely insane i'll just go through and show everybody the teams that competed yesterday and then we'll get on to showing you which teams actually made it through today to the final so let's go we saw the crews that were drafted. We started with the Sword Lords, captained by Laura, and they featured T Jewel, Avexus, Uniseal Dave, Interior Form. And then we had also the Furious Flintlocks, captained by Pumplo, featuring Kirua, Matin, Ziegler, and Jack Bilge. We also had the Blunder Bandits, captained by Tater, JW, Yukening, Lowered Status, and Faritat. Let's not forget the Double Gunners, captained by Wags, Zuboop, Cold, Rainy Raindrops, and Snowy Cat. Here we go. We also saw the Drunken Sailor, captained by Cloud and featuring Zoranzo, Snapper, Gallinor, and Matt Place. We saw some pretty amazing plays coming out of the Pocktails as well, captained by Tripex and featuring Purple Turkey, Obelisk, the Doinkster, and Juanincher. Let's go, another team that competed yesterday, Ninja, captaining the Silver Seekers, featuring Anitwo, Spyglass Cut, and Reactive. We also saw the Pixel Breakers, captained by Y9, and featuring Uncharted Isle, Jellyfish, Scooter, and Fusion. And finally, our last two teams that competed yesterday. V5, the captain of the Mutinous Molders, featuring Molten Sand, Zux, JR Gamer, and Tragic SOT. And the Reaper Runners, captained by Judad, Chaos Turtle, Zynga, Delta Utmost, and Lieutenant Lut. All these teams went at it yesterday. Only the top five teams went on. So let's go because the teams that are playing here today are the Pixel Breakers, Pocktails, Furious Flintlocks, the Double Gunners, and the Mutinous Molders. It was a really, really close affair, especially for fifth place. We had a tie between the Reaper Runners and the Mutinous Molders. Mutinous Molders going through via tiebreaker, which was based on the team with the most number of first place finishes. Mutinous Molders having three, and the Reaper Runners having only one. In a similar fashion, if we end up in a tie in today's contest, we will uh, also use that same criteria. So there is no showdown today due to it being a hybrid region event. So we have a mixture of players from both NA and EU here. So in the case of a tie, whatever team has gotten the most number of wins first place finishes will get priority if it happens to be tied then the following filter will be the silver amount then it would be the team with the most silver who gets the tiebreaker if you are new to nal format let me explain how this works throughout the night teams will be earning points based on their placement with first place earning 9 points, 2nd place, 7 points, 3rd place, 5 points, 
fourth place earning three points and finally fifth place earns just two points and of course the, the objective for each of these teams after the seven game series would be to finish the night right on top because that will be the team who becomes draft champions that's what we're here to see so let's go they will be getting a really awesome trophy so I'll show that here real quick so we can see it the draft trophy let's go so that's up for grabs that's awesome just the draft trophy up for grabs today we'll see which of the teams is gonna get that one we also have a very awesome award the MVP trophy and that will involve you guys the viewers you'll be helping us to decide uh, who will be the MVP so we'll be collecting some clips MVP will be from the winning team so we'll look for that whatever team uh, wins we'll look for clips from their players and then we'll have a segment towards the end of the broadcast where we all get together watch the clips and vote to decide who will be the MVP for all the viewers wondering about the giveaways we have two giveaways for you today one at halftime for the obsidian six pack and one before the end of the broadcast for the obsidian capstan and then for the players and the teams themselves akub let us know what's up for grabs for them so the winning team will be receiving <clears throat> obsidian six pack codes uh the mvp will be receiving a obsidian capstan and then uh, the, the also the winning teams will be receiving a sn sneak energy gift cards so really excited for that let's go that's awesome yeah so lots of stuff up for grabs this players are super pumped and i have good news we are already in lobby so matches are getting started in just a few moments it looks like we have a good boy to start uh the game one so that's awesome and uh i mentioned this was a hybrid region event so i'll go through and explain a, a bit more about that so yesterday we mentioned that because the majority of the players were from na then we'd play uh today's matches on na servers but Upon uh, more feedback and consideration, we've deemed that it would be more fair to have the first half feature on EU servers and the second half on NA. So it's a seven game series. The first half is only three games. and The second half consists of four games. Let's go. Supreme Impulse with the sub. Let's get it. Yeah, let's catch up on that. Oh, by the way, Aikens with the sub as well. Let's go. And if you are following, You'd be happy to know we've added all the follower emojis so you can support the team that, you, that you're feeling, you know, that hype. Get in the chat, show them some love. Just by following today, you can you can see all those team emojis. So remember, we got the Mutinous Molders, the Pocktails, the Double Gunners, the Furious Flintlocks, and the Pixel Breakers. So let's go, because we want to see that love in the chat. And we're about to start, so let's go right now. And spam that, that logo of the team we should watch. Who should we start on? Let's go. I want to see a lot of emojis in the chat. Let us know which team we should start on. <laughs> every team. Oh, if, I, if I see every oh, yeah. team, then you're leaving it up to me. <laughs> pick one. I know it's hard, but pick one. Pick one team. Spam your favorite team, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it going. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I see one for the Furious Flamelocks, one for Pocktails. Pogtails are coming in. Oh, three Pogtails. Oh, Pogtails are coming in like crazy. Yeah. All right. The Pogtails looking spicy. <laughs> yeah, Pogtails, man, yesterday Obi was impressing me. Really yeah. killing it with his build. He was really helping the team like stay up on cannons. It was really, really impressive to see. Frokies with the sub. Let's go. Thank you so much for your support. I was also very impressed with Trip X, man. That play out of the helm just to sore lunge those borders off the ladder and then re grabs. That was crazy. Oh, so, that, was, that was actually insane. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that we get to see th him do that again today. But I mean, that's going to be tough to recreate. Or if, if they end up winning, then I guess we should consider maybe that one. But looks like we're about to start. So let's go on board with the Pocktails to start game number one here of the draft. Let's do it, everybody. Here we go. About to load in. Let's see what spawn they're going to get.
Here we go. On the good boys, the pocktails. Looks like they got middle side spawn, so immediately they spot the wind. And because this is a very dangerous spot to be in, they are focusing more on sails over shooting cannons. That will give them a, a surge of speed, get out of this bad position, and then they'll be able to come back in later when they're not in a pinch. Is it good boy bad luck or good luck? That's the yeah. question. You know what? Most of the time, we've seen teams that actually they, they end up placing low on the good boy, but <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, the Pocktails can do anything. They're already landing some good shots onto the Pixel Breakers. Uh, we saw it was really intense. Actually, uh, the Pixel Breakers and the Pocktails both tied with 52 points each yesterday. So this is actually quite intense broadside, picking up right where we left off. And already the Pocktails trying to cut in behind the Pixel Breakers. And the good thing is the wheel is not broken. So this could be a really nice maneuver. They managed to cut in behind and send some chops. Here comes the first one and connects. And the second nice. one connects as well. Double demast to start the game. Maybe did they get the middle as well? Two players dead though. There's a border, counter board from the Pixel Breakers. Huge play. Oh no. Tripex trying to defend the ship and gets the kill. And they also caught the anchor as well, so both really good board, but as well as great chip defense to prevent that anchor from going down. You could see it. It was a great moment to, to board because the Pixel Breakers were, were pretty much demasted. And it was about to be a very punishing play here from the Pocktails. Now the situation gets a chance to breathe a bit more, but let's go over to the Pixel Breakers and see how they're handling things over there. I believe it was Kushin that went for that it board. It's Kushin that got the board. That was a great board there, because that that could have been a lot of points if they if they didn't get that board. And yeah, it, it really was a great moment for Kushin to go for that board, and we see that it's still quite you know the the pixel breakers ahead actually. So pretty much reset the fight, put everything back into even terms, and now straight one B. And oh yeah. And we'll see it. This is the EU segment of the finals. So Jelly on his home server, we know Pixel Breakers won't have much trouble down below, allowing Rated and Fusion to just go to town. Yeah, the best way I can explain is whenever you have that high ping, you feel like you're playing in like quicksand. So it's like kind of nice, probably for Jelly right now. He's probably like feeling good. He's like, yeah, I can move around. But oh my God, they are they have a lot of lowers. There's a lot of lower pressure on yeah. the Pixel Breakers right now. Yeah, it's a good thing for Pogtails. Yeah, and now the blunder's coming in. Now Pocktails have a great angle. The Pixel Breakers have no angle at all. Will they send some chop again? Because they have the angle for it. Trying to break wheel. Oh, I think they got wheel. They, they just did. got wheel. They, just they broke did. wheel. That's huge. Let's see how it affects Y9. They actually killed Y9. That was a, a oh, kill wow. and breaking the wheel as and, well. And they have another boat coming in. Who is that boat? Anyways, so. Yeah, I think... Is that, is that double gunners coming in right now for the third party? Let's check it out. I think it might be. No. It's not. No, though. no, it's not. It's not. It's the uh, Furious Flintlocks. The, fu the Furious Flintlocks. Let's go. Coming in with a third party right here. He's going to be able to catch up with a lot of points here, too. I think Jelly is everyone's favorite bilge. Jelly yeah, is the goat when work. it comes to bilging. Well, that's the crazy thing. You know, the Pixel Breakers took a, a lot of punishment there, but, you know, they basically, they're able to to go on. Mm -hmm. they, they're, they're fine. And the Flame Lock's coming in to third party. Definitely going to be uh, pretty good. Give some breathing room to recover. Optics with the sub. Let's go. Yo, chat, whenever we switch to a different team, y'all should be spamming that team's logo in the chat. It is a free follower emote. If you're a follower, you could use these five emotes of all the teams, and you could just spam them every time we switch to them. Yeah. Start spamming those emotes. It's showing some support. Rossi's doing a good job here. They, they have a lot of water coming in, and he's, uh, I think he's going to need some help. He's going to have to bring someone down. Yeah, those, yeah, he does. Those front holes, usually you got to ask for somebody to come help you uh, bucket. It's just too much. They've gained a lot of ground, knocking down two masts, too. Doing a good, good job. Thank you. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
Are they yeah, isolated in this one v one right here? No, no, they're. They, they think the. So the pixel breakers coming back in. Yeah, pixel breakers. Yeah. The pixel breakers got a chance to recover completely, and now they're coming into third party. So this is just really. And it looks like they're third partying uh, flintlocks the too. The flintlocks. Yep, indeed. Flintlocks are dry downstairs. They have one hole, but uh, yeah, pixel breakers are coming in fast right now. Where's purple? And now they're wondering where is purple because they're kind of running away with this game. Let's head over to Double Gunners and check it out because that's the one v one going on with the mutinous Mulders. I killed one. I'm off the boat. I don't catch. It's crazy to see how far they are from each other and and how much they're able to score because sometimes I look at their DPS. I'm like, well, that's point blank. <laughs> but uh, but no, they're really good long range. And already I love I love the upside down logo there <laughs> from Glenn. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm turning behind yellow. I'm rebuilding. Drop front, drop front. And of course and they have were yeah. really solid yesterday. So I, I see them doing really good. They were very Let's consistent. Give yesterday. Them one right, right now, Zbuk. Yeah. They they're getting a really nice angle on the mutinous molders. I think we went to the road, no, really good, and then they're staying on the outside. I think there's a third no, party we, coming, I but give them one. We need to I mean, this is really minutes. gonna be so I many points for the double gunners. Oh, great shots! They put fire into them. They got blundered, but it doesn't do anything to them. Yeah, this is a, this is a great everyone, everyone putting fire everyone, in your enemy whenever you chain, have a chain, like chain. long stand chain. fighting is a great thing to do. Um, yeah, this is chain, 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 this is a great chain, strategy from them, and they're just. Owning up to it. I mean, literally, nice, like, nice. yeah. And they send the chops, taking down main mast as well. So, if there's still the third party, I think there is. Well, it was very important to get the, the other ship demasted as well. Both crews going on only one sail. And it is the Pixel Breakers with an amazing opportunity to third party this. Let's go over to Pixel Breakers to check it out. Yeah, Pixel Breakers are just going third party to third party. This is great. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people believe that this is the way to play it because, you know, there are so many talented crews out there. You take a 1v1 and, you know, as good as you are, so are they. So it's really a 50-50 and it's a good helm. It's a good team. You want to try to put the odds more in your favor, not just take straight up 50-50 fights. And this is uh, third partying is one of the best ways to do that. Shoot, shoot purple. Mutinous Mulders has gone down. So that's just too much pressure with the Pixel Breaker third party. And now it's just the 1v1. Pixel Breakers taking shots over at the Double Gunners. I think if we go back to the Furious Flintlocks, they might still be in a fight with Pogtails. They are. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, two dead on Pogtails, too. Yeah, it's looking uh, really good for the Furious Flintlocks. And it's a full demasted Pogtails as well. So if anyone comes to third party, you'd imagine they go after the, the, the Pogtails. Oh, they're going for chops, so they're going to try to demast oh, yeah. them back. And I think they're going to get it. Yeah. I think they're going to demast them back. Oh, this is going to be a nice little like fight. Who Who is going to get third party here now? That's going to be yeah. the question. They demasted each other. Yeah, that's huge. That is really huge. Oh, another one down. Purple Turkey down. Oh, yeah, we're doing a great job keeping everyone up to shooting shots too. Yeah, honestly, in this kind of situation, it's pretty much about sinking the other crew because you have to just get a bit of space, raise your mast, and go. Because yeah, anyone comes to third party, you're probably gonna end up sinking. We know that the Mulders just sunk recently, so maybe they spawn close to this. I think what what they're gonna do here, what they're thinking, Pogtails is, is they're just trying to get points now. I think they're going to do whatever they can to get as many points as they can. They know they're in a bad spot, and I think they're just going to hope for the best on the third party that goes for them instead of, you know, they're hoping maybe the third party goes for the first place yeah. boat instead of the four, uh, fourth place. That's right. what I would be doing. That's what I would be thinking. Hope for the best. Yeah, we'll see. And it's six minutes left. It's extremely close, except for the, the Mulders. They, they're they falling behind, but everyone else could still very much... Get that first, they're and super close. Again, mad respect for Obi here. Literally keeping everyone up, being able to just do this and let them all stay up. Like he's asking for a little bit of help now, but yeah, man, he was laying them up there the whole time almost. 
This is crazy. Yeah, just clean, great bucketing. One mistake could be a huge problem. And uh, Obi making sure to great bail opposite side of the broadside. It's a detail that a lot of people uh, miss, but it's so important. And yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he's actually doing a great job. It's awesome, awesome to see. I, I feel like I, I said yesterday, I feel like the villagers don't get a lot of love. Yeah, and whenever you go to handle those front holes, you gotta be ready to call for help because it's really tough. But yeah, they're managing. These teams are doing good. Let's go over to the Flintlocks and see if things are a bit better there, uh, no, build wise. I, I'm actually, I'm actually watching uh, Munis Baldur's right now. They have a little like three boat battle going on. It, they have some nice shots here. They're kind of going for the third party almost. Like they have a good, they're in a good position to come back a little bit here. Five minutes left, they can easily come back. Yeah, we'll see. They just have to get themselves so the right kind of farm. Left side, left side. Yeah, and now about to take a broadside. Let's see. Then a blunder. So there's a boat they're trailing this boat that they're broading right now. So maybe they could turn this boat that they're broading into the the meat of the sandwich. And that's what I think they're gonna do. Yeah, that's double gunners. They break wheel. Oh, nice. Blunders and, and another. sending some chop as well. Let's see. Come on, guys, let's do this. Keep shooting. Jesus dead. Oh, they got one player down. Uh, I'll try to get yeah. Him. I got him. What I like about this broad is that they're also going towards the other ships as well. So it's like uh, taking the the one B, but at the same time so on the way to bomb. third party. The Flintlocks are going to town. Over 10k. That is crazy. How are they doing that? They're still in the fight with Pocktails. They are. Yeah, it's just so much. Yeah, Flint Low, yeah, they no one's come over to the third party them. Yeah, they're going to town. You you give you know, even the Pocktails are not too far from second place either. You know, double gunners. They're in that fight that we just saw against the mutinous Mulders. Uh, top barrel's the only one that... We can be first. Let's Ooh. go. Farm, 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 farm. They're going all the way for first. The double gunners can go. can really spot a, a good opportunity here. Free farm. Main mass breaking. Knocking down mid mass. Yep. Yeah. Only top. Only top. Oh, they can wave, easily wave, get wave, this. Wave, wave. Yeah, and now they're coming up on. Oh, and they that's uh, perfect side, timing. They get the sync on the Mulders, and now look at that. Prime position to third party, the Pocktails and the Furious no, Flintlocks. We, we and if, uh, if they go for a board on the Flintlocks, I guess that would be the play, honestly. But they have Pixel Breakers on their ass! Pixel Breakers Don't right there! Yeah. Shooting them! Repair my wheel, repair my wheel. Right oh, this now. is about to be a mess here for the last one. This is going to be a situation where someone's going to come in, three sailing, and they're going to anchor up, and then there's going to be a lot of shooting going on. Yeah, this is crazy. We can sink I call it the Scooter Strat. Where's White? Dude, the Flintlocks already at 12k. Like, wow, the double gunners, you know, they gotta come in. Obviously, they have to shoot at blue. They have to. Or go for the sink. Something. It's, uh. Let's go. Shoot wags. I can't. Now, who is that boat that is closest to them? I'm pretty that's the sure. That's Pogtails. That's Pogtails. Oh, is that Pogtails that's on fire? Yeah, that's Pogtails. Fucking hell, this is a high point game. And they're shooting at the Pogtails, so. Yeah, we can't. You know, okay, you can try to win this via DPS, but the thing is that, you know, blue, they're also getting DPS. So it's like that, that difference, the difference is what, what's going to let you catch they're not doing up. not anything now. They have three people bucketing. They're not going to be able to get any damage at all. He's dead, so. Green's anchored shooting at white also. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Just a few more moments remaining. The double gunners. Still shooting and shooting. Everyone is shooting. If you are watching Pixel Breakers right now, every single boat is shooting Pogtails. Yeah, you know every what? Every single boat. <laughs> that is crazy, and they're not going down. A sink would be devastating for Pixel Breakers for sure. They would. Oh, they sent a border. There is a uh, Cushion in the water from Pixel Breakers, and I think they're trying to put down the Pogtails. Who is it? I killed one. Just keep trying to Yeah, try to salvage a third. Yeah, there it is. Kushan on ladder on Pocktails. Oh, another guy here. Oh, Matin also boarded. So the <laughs> and now standing on the grate, that devastating. Even if he dies on the grate, that's pretty much a sink. They sunk. Wow. And and now the question is, does the double gunner 
<laughs> Do they have enough <laughs> time to, to get place. points to pass? It's very close. Game, no, the Flinlocks. <laughs> it's the green. <laughs> they manage it. That <laughs> fight with the Pocktails was so enough. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. And it was a great moment when Matten and Kushan met up on that Our board, both screen. having the same kind of plan. In this, in this lobby. Double Our gunners in second, third place for the Pixel Breakers, fourth <laughs> place <laughs> Pocktails, Mutinous Malders coming in fifth yeah. place. Let's Honestly, get those flintlocks kind of spammed in the chat, y'all. They won the first game of the finals, y'all. Let's first go. Game. The Furious Flintlocks coming in style with that first place there. Game one of the draft finals. Let's go. Furious Flintlock in the chat for the hype. And throughout the night, we'll be catching up on all the points. Let me just give you a reminder of the point system that we use here in the NAL. Teams are earning points based on their placement, with first place earning 9 points, second place earning 7 points, third place earns 5 points, fourth place earns 3 points, and finally, fifth place earning just 2 points. But based on that, we're making those standings, and let's go. Pretty easy, so obviously Furious Flynn Lux, just pick up those 9 points there after that win. Yep. Yeah, and th that's a good start. I mean, yo, Pomp wants that uh, hoodie, it looks like. He yeah. Wants a signed hoodie from you, so, yeah. You know, <laughs> exactly. A goal. They, 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 okay, well, we, they're starting on track. They are on track to get it. <laughs> yeah, let's check it out right here. It's what we have. What a great way to start. Now, one thing that you must be aware of the seven game series. The targeting is a huge, huge thing, so it could be a curse to be, get ahead too early. And uh, all the teams will put more focus onto you. But we will see. I think this one's going to be a little different. With a mixture of different players from different teams, I think it's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, what I love is the boarding. You know, boarding, we didn't see as much yesterday, but already game one, we've seen a lot of boarding. And yep. that was great. I like it. Yeah, it is, I think um, I, I think it could completely be opposite next game. You know, th there's so many yeah. great players in this one, and it could keep changing each game. You just never know. But that was a good strategy for for basically uh, Flintlocks to sit there. And I didn't know they were the outside boat. So them being the outside boat made Pogtails be the target, you know? Yeah. And they just got a high enough lead where people needed – the Pogtails to sink so then they could uh, go up higher in the standings. Exactly what the Pixel Breakers ended up doing. Now, DeMarco says, cruise your ships because we're ready to start game number two. We'll go on board with the Furious Flintlocks. So here we go. Let's go. All right. Six more games. Yep. Let's do this. Six yep. more games, they so, say. Mm -hmm. Taking some shots over they at the mutinous Malders, who will get the first shots of the game. No, they shooting mid. They shooting fucking mid, bro. Oh, yeah, they scuttled. Oh, yes, they scuttled. Oh yeah, okay. Middle side spawn has scuttles, so I think that's the. The Malders were getting that spawn. They'll I have mean, double specials. Them, so we'll watch out for that. I think we're in between the two. They're gonna get a fucking shit spawn maybe. Now, oh, yes. the Furious yeah. Linlock's a bit starved. Yeah. Not too many options to yeah, begin. Let's go back over to the Pixel Breakers. We know they were getting that spawn beside the Pocktails, and they had a pretty intense fight right at the start. Mm, there is one. It's yellow. been uh, pretty... Yeah. Interesting start. Most the... teams just focusing oh, yeah, on right. repositioning. Right. Right. Finally, it's a low point start right now. Yeah, everybody decided to just take a wide approach. We had some crews that decided to scuttle early. And now we're getting together here. The double gunners. And then we should be fine actually, don't even need the hearts. With a great angle, but now Pixel Breaker is about to open up. Big points. We'll see. 
Uh, these first shots are everything. Yeah. If you can land those first shots right away, it, it changes the whole broad. Yeah, Cusion is knocked off. So, I mean, this is really in the advantage of the double gunners. They are going to town. Let's go over there and see. Because what a great start. To game number two. Aiden needs to get a kill. I mean, they just need to trade a kill here and knock someone off. Don't get one bolt here. We're putting great cannon pressure here, too. Quad cannons, let's go. Quad cannons. Quad cannons, they say. They're aiming for Zubu, help them out. Putting the pixel breakers under immense pressure. No lowers, though. See, the problem is, is if you focus too much on cannon line, you have no lowers. So then that just makes it where they can keep quadding. Yeah, even they're, having... they're picking up kills, though. They just uh, killed Y9 over on the other side. Kishin has to go for the revive. So, double gunners... Definitely in command of the broadside so far. You're good lower. But this can change quickly with just one blunder bomb or a good kill. You're turning out, turning out, turning out. Yeah, yeah pixel breakers. I missed, I missed, They're just I missed. gonna turn out of this. Don't change, yeah, don't change. Just usual kind of move. And there's a third party, the Mulders. Let's go over there. They're trying to cut right, off the right pixel now. breakers. And now they're gonna pull the Stuka right here. Instead of transitioning was, to the double gunners, three, they're gonna come three, back in yeah, on the weakened yeah. ship. I mean, I went. Potentially oh, huge oh, point oh, farm. This is gonna be extremely oh, hard for pixel breakers. Is, oh. Yep, pixel breakers are about to get put yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is it right oh, here. Oh, they see a couple of blunders. Line. Wow. I'm already correcting, correcting. Yeah. Fire, yeah, there you go. Good job from Zooks there. Good job from Zooks not using his blunder back. Yeah, fine, I thought fine. he was gonna use it there, and I was like, uh, and he didn't use it. Good yeah. job from him. Yeah. Pixel breakers go down, and I think there was really no other way that would go because you know, they're already hurting from that fight with double gunners and the mutinous, sorry, the mutinous molders were ready to to punish. They're opening up as well. I'm gonna have to raise. I agree with Snowy Cat on. I wish they they would take flares out of arena. 100%. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, they are a bit awkward too. Like, I grab them, and I know I'm probably not going to use them at all. Well, and it's a bit uh, annoying to see them in my inventory. If they shot right away, maybe. You know, but just that. Uh. Yeah. Use a blunder, use a blunder. Here we go. We're overturning right a bit. Yeah, yeah. Now, it was in that this kind of fight that we saw the Furious Flintlocks run away with the game. Uh, so, I'll we'll see if the Mulders back. manage to do something similar. Oh, jump right the into a shot there. Whoa. Jump right to a shot to die there. Yeah, I know. The Mulders are dipping out. Yeah, they, they lost that initial part of the broad at the very beginning. Oh, now the they're going to be chained. Oh, this is this is huge right here. The chops. The double gunners are trying to keep them right where they want them. Double gunners are dialed in right now. They are doing a great oh, job. They just hit the back mast as well. They're, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, this is this is dialed in. These are dialed in shots. They're doing a great job right now, and I don't even think they have any pressure downstairs. Yeah, and they now barely have any. Now that uh, the double gunners have the mass advantage, it'll be impossible for the Mulders to really break off. They can keep up with the infinite angle all day long, sending even more chops. They want a full demass here. Did they get it? I think they did. Oh my. Uh, did they get I it? Don't have chance. I don't have chance. No, they missed no. barely. Don't, 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 no, 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 well, they might just get it with regular cannonballs. I mean, they're <laughs> they're lighting them up. They are. They were hitting a lot of lowers there before, so putting the top pressure right now is allowed. They should go back to going lowers right away. And they yeah. sunk them. Good, good job. Yeah, that's huge. All there's need to get. They probably need to. Once they saw the first chain. They probably should have yeah, just scuttled yeah, right away because that was just a losing no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Really, really hard. Let's go over to the Furious Flintlocks. We saw them getting that win in the oh, first Oh, wow. Game. They're about to sink. Uh, I'm getting bucket right. Yeah. They, they yeah. have two people bucketing right now. Yeah, this is a sticky situation. Who are they fighting right now? Madden came down just in time, too. Yeah. Good job. They have a crew right behind them. Not sure exactly yet who uh, it is. I think it's Pocktails, but I'm not sure. Out? I mean, we have a fuck ton of holes, bro. Tell me when you're good, because we have really, really... Oh, oh it is Pocktails the behind them. Yeah. Pocktails is shooting at someone else, though. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Pixel Breakers. But we'll see. 
This might be just exactly what the Furious Flintlocks needed. Get a chance to breathe. I wonder if uh, Trip will stay on the fight with Pixel Breakers or just break off towards the left and keep pressuring the Flintlocks. That is going to be the question. He keeps looking at the Flintlocks. He yeah. is. He's going for them. <laughs> I don't know why, but he just something something about them he wanted to go for. And you can just see it. And yep, now they're going for them. Yeah, but that's the thing. The the Flintlocks were so prepared to raise their mast, and, and they're pretty much going to be okay. They just drop sail, and they should be okay. They're fully recovered by now. And now the problem might be for the Pocktails if they end up being in a pinch. It could be that Pixel Breakers fights them on one side, and if the Flintlocks turn around, that could be the Pocktail Sandwich. Yep. And it looks like that's actually what's happening right now. Yeah. I think they're going to have to get sails and just zoom right by in between everything and try to get back over to the other side. Yeah. It was very tempting to go for flint locks because they were almost demasted, but the recovery time for these teams is extremely fast. So if you don't jump on it right away, you give any team like 30 seconds, they'll be fully repaired by then. Like it's, it's actually unbelievable how efficient these teams are. Yep. Angle front. I'm on back. Pocktails just angling, getting out, and repositioning. Meanwhile, let's go back to Double Gunners. Because they're back in another fight against the Mutinous Malders. Oh, and their bilge is down right now. Rainy's gonna have to pick up bilge for a little bit here. That's what he's doing. Rainy's doing a great job picking up bilge here. That's why they have their bilge down. Wow. And Wags. Landing some good shots to the top deck of the Malders. But the Double Gunners losing main mast could be a problem. The broadside being on the left side, the mast usually gets in the way a bit. Might be worth it to raise the, the sail. We don't have angle floor now. We will have it soon. Oh no! There you go. Cole just had to bucket three times there. You saw that? Whew. They yeah. the but they're, the double gunners are so experienced, they raise the, the sail in the middle mast so they have you better visibility. Water, and now, okay, this rock is going to give... Shoot. Yeah, there we go. Back shoot, at shoot, it again. Shoot, shoot. The Mulders and the double gunners. Now the Mulders, because they sunk earlier, they're going to have more specials. Will that make a difference? That's if they use them. They haven't been using them yet. Shoot they have two. They yeah. have yeah. They have two down. Two just got res. Brutal. So they, oh yeah, this is gonna be hard for them to kind of. They might be able to get a push. They start off with the blunder bomb here. They might be able to get a push back here. Yeah, and we heard Wag saying put the lowers, and we can definitely see that lots of lower pressure on the mutinous Malders. Yeah, they have two people yeah. bucketing right now. Yeah, they, I mean, it's it's just one person on cannon here and there. They rammed. It's going to be very hard. If we go back to the double gunners, we can compare that. Well, I guess they're rammed the island, so <laughs> they're using some of their resources to try to harpoon out of this. That could be really nasty if they got stuck. Oh, and there's a crew right there. They're nosing the Mulders right now. This could be bad. Oh, wow. Let's go to the Malders. Yeah, full screen on board with Sugs. Coming, 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 coming. Are they gonna let them off the hook? You start cranking right. I am. This was the moment, but you know what? Just too many lowers for the Malders. Send specials at them. We've sunk once already. Just send specials. There we go. Jr, one of the champions of uh, the NAL, coming in with some words of wisdom. Send the specials because. Uh, that, that would be the advantage you have over them. They nice. demastered them! Yeah, nice chain shot. With five minutes left, the Mulders definitely cannot afford to lose this broadside. They have to send everything. They gotta win at all costs. A second place is not too far from them. With four minutes left. Double gunners though. I mean, they are really more than double points. I don't have angle, so. Of the second place team, they're going to town. And they sunk them. Well, that's it right there. Exactly what the Mulders needed. But now, 
there is a team already putting pressure. The third party, it was the, that's the reason why the double gunners just scuttled. They saw the third party, they said, no, we don't want any of this. Yeah, the smart scuttle too, because they're still in first place by a good amount too, so. Yeah. Just gotta see which crew it is. I think it might be the Pocktails that are coming in. Is it? It is, it is yeah. the Pocktails. Wow, Purple Turkey gets killed with cannons. Immediately trip on the revive. And now pushing. It's very close for second place. The Furious Flinlocks have been in phenomenal form. Already won first place and in second place now. Can they hold it? Or will the Pocktails steal it away? Let's go back to the Flinlocks and figure it out because they're also getting points. They're putting the Pixel Breakers under pressure and on fire too. Two. Two Pixel breakers yeah. with some specials, oh, yeah. bunch of blenders coming in and fire. Yeah. Right to level the playing field. Yeah. Ziegler with the harpoon. Shoot that purple. We're gonna get poked by green, but we're on a full crank away from them. They ain't gonna wow. get hit much. Unless we get chained by purple. Yeah, and Frosty is nice. filling up down there. There's gonna need yeah. some help here. This is getting, uh... Yeah, Matin is on it. Two minutes left. Oh, this is a lot of fucking holes, bro. Yeah, that's a lot of holes. I think it's just yeah, two people maybe. bucketing, and they're having a hard time just bringing down the water level. Uh, there's not a lot of options. They are, yeah. but they have, okay, they have to win this fight because if Pogtails uh, is able to put more pressure on them, which they have, they have way more cans on them. Yeah. And uh, they, they could just pass them real Pom quick. Yeah, Pump is pretty much the only one that can get on cannons while Ziegler comes back. It's just really a, a fine balance because the whoever gets on cannons, they maybe shoot one or twice and then they have to go as, assist with buckets. <laughs> is that Pixel Breakers that came back in or came into the fight too? It is. It is Pixel Breakers. The, yeah, the Pixel Breakers are the ship that's uh, on fire that the flame locks have been fighting. Two minutes left. How many holes do we have? 1,000 points uh, gap between three. the Pocktails and the Flinlocks. Okay. Well, and e even the Pixel Breakers are actually kind of climbing as well. Three holes in the other side as well. Uh, it, yeah. They are. No, oh, the Flinlocks are just breaking off. They're not going to get much more points after this. So it's up to Pocktails. Let's see if they have the angle. They do have an angle. It's a bit tricky. And less than 60 seconds to close the gap to second place. Can they do it? They're not quite getting it. These are really tough shots for the Flinlocks. The decision to break off might be might be paying off. We'll see. It's going to be such a close finish. Oh, this is going to come down to like literally probably one cannon here. Oh, and the Pixel Breakers too. Even keeping third place would be a win for Pocktails at that point because... Oh, no, but they didn't. The Pixel Breakers What's got that? it at the last moment. Oh my 15 god. 15 points. One 15 cannon. Points. One cannonball <sighs> pushes the Pixel Breakers into third. That is super devastating. That's the second, fourth in a row for Pocktails. And and for Double Gunners, amazing. They get a first place, kind of uh, swapping uh, places with the Flintlocks. Both those teams are going to be tied. Pixel Breakers hanging in with another third place. Okay, so Pocktails, wow. it's pretty much uh, just everyone got the same placements except for double gunners and the flintlocks kind of swapping who, who won. That is crazy. What a way to start. We'll see what happens, how it develops. But I will tell you what, the the targeting is going to get really intense. Really, really intense. I see a question in the chat asking, how do I register? So let's go. Let me explain. If you like this kind of th stuff, if you want to get involved in the competitive community, check us out on our website, NotoriousArenaLeague.com. You can go there, register as a player, and register your team. You can also do exclamation mark Discord in the chat to join the Discord, get involved in the community, and get a team. Let's go. After two games, let's check out those standings and see how things are looking. We are one game away from halftime as well, so if you're wondering about the giveaways, you'll be happy to know. 
that uh, it's the Obsidian Six Pack giveaway is coming up right after the next game. So let's go. And we still have the capstan as well. Uh, that will be before the end of the broadcast. Now let me show you the standings. Here we go. So as I mentioned, we have a tie in the at the moment for first place between the Furious Flintlocks and the Double Gunners. Double Gunners getting that win in the previous game. So let's give them some love in the chat. If you are following today, you can get those emojis for all these teams. So let's go. Show them some love with the Double Gunners emoji in the chat. And then looking at the other teams, Pixel Breakers, third place, Hawktails, fourth, and the Mutants Molders in fifth place. Yeah, I think um, as it, from what it looks like to me, it looks like the teams that have the most EU players are on top right now. Yeah, and that would make sense because the first half is in EU. But we'll see how things shift when we go yeah. to the second half on the NA servers. Well, we'll see about Honestly, that. A lot of great players here, so I don't think it's going to change too much. But it's still like that does kind of factor in your brain a little bit like, huh, you know. There's a high ping for some of these bilges that are on NA that are, are over here fighting on the EU servers, so yeah. you never know. Especially for the teams that are currently leading, right? The Flinlocks and the Gunners, both of them heavily EU uh, focused. But now let's go. Game 3 is started. On board with the Double Gunners. Let's do this. Starts here. I want to see like a high point right away on the starts. Let's see. Oh, they're getting the cannon shots right away too. Love it. Yeah, let's see if they connect. They sunk. They sunk. Drop me front. They're good. Already somebody with the early scuttle play yep. again. Yeah, you, you can try to shoot right. But yeah. Not sure. The Mulders. Yeah, you will get points. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Double Gunners Ooh, are yeah. hype yeah. about this to be uh, go go doing so well so far. These are hard shots. Good, because, yeah, they are doing a great job. And Pixel Breakers are starting That's off really, really of strong here yeah. on their it's shots. Like They've already got a mass down. They're starting off strong here in this first broad. Yeah, this is more what we want to see. Am I going to be harping here? Hang on. They're turning. You know, you should be Q can come here real quick. Uh, I gave I got too many specials. Pick a fire up on me. Check out what's going on here with the flint locks. Kind of trying to right. to see who to go for. Blonder, we had maybe. Pogtails that scuttled, or did they end up sinking just now? I think they sunk, but it was oh, kind of like uh, they're trying to, to see if they could get away from the middle side spawn. They tried something, it didn't work, and then they just scuttled. Okay. Of, uh, yeah. Oh, we got a nice little fight here going with the, the Munis Malders. Um, they are... Currently, who is that what they're with right now? Okay. Pixel Breakers, I think. <laughs> yeah, kind of getting like a little harpoon turns back and forth with each other. I'm dead. They can't get done. Maybe not. Nope. Let's see. Really close. This range, you go for those cannon kills oh, for cool. sure. I mean, this is. These players are so good. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on either. Uh, we're full yeah, Pomp is down. Pomp is down yeah. right now. That's the helm. You don't no. want to hear that. It's like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Someone's no, going to have to no, take no. charge. Yeah. Because they're getting lit up right now. They have back angle on them. The red crew's are, got them. And they're turning away too, which is Let's not see. good. Who is the red crew? That is the... the double gunners. Okay, okay. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We need to be shooting. Double Gunners has done a great job of having great starts. Like, just getting, like, to 2,000 points before everyone. Yeah. I mean, this it's is... the ending. You know what I like about this as well? 
is who they're doing it to because that is exactly the Furious Flintlocks who they're tied with. And there goes the scuttle. Good call on the scuttle. I think it should have happened earlier. Oh yeah. Once they lost that angle, it should have happened. Absolutely. I don't think so. Maybe, Just in maybe. Case. Keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. Jesus, we had second broad. We had the pixel second. breakers right now in a little broad side by side with someone right now. They get in a lot of shots. They have a lot of lowers in them. Oh yeah, pixel breakers. Lots of holes. Everything on this I need They're you. in it with uh, Pogtails, but Pogtails can stay in this. They're gonna get third party. Their boat just respawned no, to their right, so they're gonna get third party. So I think they need to kind of put, put some fire and then here. turn away. Or even harpoon this island and try to get away or something. We have a lot of holes. Dude. How many holes? I don't know. He's gonna turn out probably, so it's okay. A little longer range, so it's okay. Uh, right, dude, you might want to patch masks too, dude. Okay. Let's go. Get a Keishin back up. Yeah. You can go up now. Let's go. Long ring shots going over there. But yeah, I'm, I'm very okay, impressed nice blade, so let's go. Win this broad. with double gunners. When this broad, we basically win the game. Hawktails also need something huge here. I mean, they're taking their broad with the pixel breakers. That's all good, but and that's two forts in a row for the Hawktails. You don't want to make that a habit. You can't afford too many of those in a seven game series. We need to see them bounce back strong. Trying to fix the, the colors for you guys on the broadcast. That's why I'm a little bit quiet there, trying to get this thing. And there's just a lot of just broads going on. There's nothing really like you just stand out going on right now. It's kind of like just everyone's in a fight, and everyone's shooting. Um, Octails, they really do need to kind of pick on some of the bigger uh, teams here now. Go for the teams that are in the higher ranking right now. There we go. Uh, Coop, if you just give it a refresh on colors, it should be popping up now. And a huge shout out to all the staff behind the scenes, working hard to make sure we can have a smooth show. I feel like Pogtails right now, so them and uh, Pixel Breakers getting in this broad is not a bad thing, but they need to be first and second. They do not need to be in this position right here because they need to break this uh, pattern of the other teams being in the top. So double gunners are just double gunners. Are, double gunners are killing it right now. They're doing amazing, and uh, their biggest rivals, the Furious Flintlocks, down in fifth place at the moment. I mean, that is the maximum gap you can uh, take with another team, which is seven points. That would be huge. That would be very, yeah, it's gonna be very hard to to keep them down though. Very good team. Yeah, Footlocks are going straight for them, too. Yeah. They're right oh, yeah. behind the men, and they're going straight for them, which is smart. I them. No, I don't actually, I don't think it is them they're going for. No, that's they are the going for them. Yeah, they're going for the Mulders. No, yeah, they're going for the Mulders. Yeah, but the Mulders turning on the dime here, getting opening shots. Oh. This could be very bad for the Flintlocks. Well, they got a Harpoon turn in time. And it's quad cannon too. They're taking a quad cannon opening broad. Could be really tough for them. Six goes down though. Really critical kill to pick up early on. This might be exactly what oh, the Flintlocks needed. Yeah, it's us turning out because of the island. 
You know, I guess, depending on how you look at it, it makes sense that they would fight the Mulders. You know, they're in fifth, so maybe they're trying to climb their way up. However, there is a third party that's coming in on them. Who is it? Is it the double gunners? That would be crazy if it was. I might lose it if it's the double gunners. It is. Oh my goodness. The double gunners have a plan and it is to put the flintlocks down. They want to maximize their gap. Create a seven point difference between them and the flintlocks. Wow, that's... Yep. And it's working. It's working. Yeah. I mean, targeting. That, that's the thing. It's not enough to be a good team and know how to win a broadside, that is not enough. You have to be very smart as well, and these teams are picking their fights very carefully. I'm turning fuel. I think if the Flintlocks knows that this is them, what they should do is just no. scuttle, okay. then they don't give them any more points, and they hope everyone else passes them and they get a third. Because if they take this broad right here, they're only going to give yeah. them a better chance of getting first. Yeah, and the thing is, the double gunners are, are picking up kills and laying it on them. It's, it's going to be very hard for the Flintlocks to, to recover. You can see there's basically no one on cannons over there. They're all dealing with lower holes, just shooting, trying to reposition the ship. They're cutting it behind the double gunners, though. This could be the good moment for chain shot. Here we go, Ziegler. Sending out some chain. Uh, he's got the and connects. Mass down. Oh, wow. And then really clean shots on the top deck. Oh, yep. They are getting some nice shots here. No one's dead, though. They're going to be able to get... Oh, they're going to answer back. They're gonna Double gunners are going to answer back easily here. I don't think there's any lowers there, too, so they don't have to worry about that. Oh, one get knocked off. He's going to catch. Rainy caught. Yeah, they just continue. This is very... Honestly, very risky for the Flintlocks to take this broadside because they're giving points to the crew that they're trying to to, to bring down, you know, by taking this fight with them. So especially if they don't end up winning the broadside, that's really pretty much making sure. Yeah. Yeah, five minutes left, you're, you're giving them, like, you're solidifying that they're going to get first. And you're, yeah. you might be able to climb up and get a fourth, but it just it doesn't seem... I'm yeah, out, I'm out. that's the thing. Short when left. you're trying to catch up and to a team, left. you... Oh! Rainy goes down. Rainy goes down and Wags get knocked off. Wags get knocked off, so they only have two people on the boat right now. Oh, yeah, this is the moment for the Flintlocks to bounce back and regain the momentum. If the Flintlocks can sink the Double Gunners, that could even be a third place finish for, for Double Gunners. Not be as devastating uh, as what it would be if it were to finish like this. Quite Rainy cannon. barely being able to get out of that situation. Oh, oh, Rainy dies. Oh. Nope. Spoke Rainy goes soon. down. Oh. Yeah, no, it's it's quite cannon for the Flintlocks. They are not messing around. They're about to surpass into fourth place as well. So this is and they oh, did. Oh, yep, there me. he goes. And oh, yeah. If they could sink them here too, and hopefully getting them to lower, oh, this We're would be yeah. I mean, best case scenario, you, you basically you farm them enough that you can get in, at least into fourth. Then you you get the sink on them, so that it puts them into third, and then the gap would be just two points. But there are three minutes. I'll tell you, you can farm a lot of points in three minutes. <laughs> yeah, one one thing is I've always tried to preach is you can shoot four shots every ten seconds. That's a lot of points that you can do. Yeah, 100%. And the flame locks are honed in. I mean, I just hear nothing but the trumpet. They're already dialed in completely. Keeping always at least two on cannons. Matin is about to go cannon line as well soon. Yep. What a way to do this. That is crazy. They're they're basically they're coming back and they're doing so by taking the fight to the double gunners. This is crazy. And Pixel Breaker sinking. That makes it so third place is really possible here for the Flintlocks. Oh big time. Two minutes left. Oh man, if they get the sink on the double gunners, that would be huge. <laughs> what a way to do this. 
Let's go over to Double Gunners real quick, see how they're doing. You know, one thing I've noticed is that Double Gunners have been taking that broadside on their left. And we know that sail is in the way. It's going to make it harder to see. Sometimes it even gets in the way of the cannonball itself. Yeah, I think I think can too. You can't shoot from it right now. Keep shooting. Yeah. I'm greeting. Yeah, they haven't shot from can too for for a while now. I don't think. Points, 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 points. Oh, maybe that was wrong. Can three. Sorry. Yeah, the support. Yeah, the the standard uh, way to number them is to say the the front cannon is the cannon one, and so on as you get towards. The cannon that's closest to the ladder, and that one is cannon four. Anchor, anchor. The pogtails are doing work though. One minute left. The pogtails might even get the win here, and we know that they need it. We mentioned they got two forts in a row. You don't want to make that into a habit. They have to bounce back. They're close to doing it. Fighting against the pixel breakers. Or sorry, no, against the mutinous molders. Yeah, flintlocks are going to secure probably a second place here. Sorry about the audio there. Oh! Oh, are the Pogtails going to be able to come back? Are the Pogtails going to be able to get first? It's very close. It looks like they're they're well on their way here. Well on their way. It's going to be close. Pogtails are going to get first. Pogtails are going to get first. It actually works out. Oh, wow. The Flintlocks go down, though. Oh, it didn't matter. The, the placements are the same. Same, but Pogtails get first place there. Huge. Exactly what they needed. <laughs> Second place for Double Gunners. That's amazing. They've been just doing great today. Third place for the Furious Flintlocks. Fourth place for the Pixel Breakers and the Mutinous Molders. Fifth place, but very close. Very, very close. Oh, wow. That, that was an awesome round there. I did not think that was going to be a good uh, strategy for Flintlocks, and it worked out. They ended up getting a third. So Yeah, it did. Absolutely. It did work out. All right. Well, that is the first half of today's draft tournament. Let's go. I love to see all those Pogtails in the chat because that was pretty Pog. They got two fours in a row, but they did not let that affect them, and they bounced back in style with a first place there in game number three. So let's go. The standings are going to be absolutely wild. Let's check this out. Okay, just waiting. Wait a bit longer for the placements to come through. But remember, this is half time. So, actually, we can uh, do that uh, Obsidian six pack giveaway while we wait for the, the points to come up on, on the standings. So, let's get it. To enter today's Obsidian six pack giveaway, what you need to do is enter. Exclamation mark draft in the chat. Exclamation mark draft in the chat. You'll see your name popping up in here. Let's get you guys in there. If you want to go for the Obsidian six pack giveaway, don't forget to type exclamation mark draft in the chat. So let's go. While we wait, we can uh, we can go back and, and play a bit of uke. So same deal as yesterday. We did some NAL song. We did the yeah, ding dong. Let's go. And we'll play some other stuff towards the end. Here we go. Do this. Okay, NAL theme on the ukulele. Let's go. For the halftime show, let's do it. Remember, exclamation mark draft in the chat while we do the, the ukulele halftime show. 
NAL theme. Let's go. Mm. That's what's up, the NAL theme. And now we'll do one more. Play some Yaya Ding Dong before we roll the first giveaway of the evening. The Obsidian Six Pack. And if you want to enter for your chance to win, don't forget to type exclamation mark draft in the chat. Exclamation mark draft in the chat to enter today's giveaway. And here we go. When I feel your gentle touch And things are going our way I wanna spill my love on you all day All day Yeah, yeah, ding dong My love for you is growing wide and long Yeah, yeah, ding dong I swell and burst when I see Ding dong. Let's do it. All right, now with that, let's head back over to our giveaway because it is time to roll this thing. So I hope the luck is on your side because we're rolling in three, two, one, and rolling for the Obsidian Six Pack. So many names. Who will be today's winner? Let's go. Oh, it's slowing down. Slowing down. Oh, 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 oh. Sony's. All right. You got to be paying attention, though. One more thing to do. Interact with the chat once more. Type anything at all in the chat to slay out this beast and secure your price. 20 seconds. Anything in the chat. Let's go. That woohoo claims the prize for Sony's our giveaway winner. All right, let me explain how this works. So right now, one of our wonderful mods will be contacting you right here on Twitch. So make sure you pay attention 
will be asking for your gamer tag so give it to us without any typos because your reward will be getting applied straight into your in-game inventory alongside the rest of this weekend's giveaway winners so we'll keep you posted on our twitter check us out at notorious arena on twitter we'll be posting early next week so either monday or tuesday We'll see that tweet that says rewards have been applied. As soon as you see that, jump in game because you'll have that Obsidian six pack right there in your inventory. And don't forget, if you didn't win this giveaway, don't worry. We have another one coming up before the end of the broadcast for the Obsidian Capstan. So let's go. Every time we do a broadcast here in the NAL, we have a giveaway. So if you're hunting down those Obsidian goodies, check us, check us out. And we have some amazing competitive Sea of Thieves, of course, that is the highlight of what we do here. Showcasing the competitive community to show another side of the game that perhaps you haven't seen yet, but it is super awesome, and we've seen some teams going at it and really letting us... Oh, what a contest. Let's check out the standings, what's happened so far in today's broadcast. here with the refresh all right here we go this is where we left off in the first half double gunners are currently in the lead they have done great they put the pressure on the Furious Flame Locks. It nearly looked like they were going to maximize their gap. They only managed to get two point difference in the end. The Furious Flame Locks holding tight in second with 21 points. The Pocktails coming back to life after two fourth places in a row. They have a resurgence. They win game three. And we see them solid in place number three. And that's followed by the Pixel Breakers. Having a rough start to the series, but don't forget that uh, we started the, the first half on the EU servers. So perhaps they're they're dealing with a lot of issues there. Newton's Mulders in fifth place. They're gonna need huge comeback. Pretty much nothing but first. Anything yeah, can it's happen. It's gonna be a rough one. Definitely it's gonna be a rough one for them to have a comeback here. They're gonna have to get nothing but first, like you said. Yeah, it's really, really crazy. So, what's up for grabs, you might be thinking. All right, well, let me show you once more what's going on here. We've got the awesome trophy, the draft trophy up for grabs for the winning team. We have also the MVP. We're going to decide that together. We're going to check out some of the highlight clips from today. We'll decide who's getting that. Then, of course, Aku, remind us the prices for the players. They will be getting, they will receive a Obsidian six pack code for every single one that won for the winning team. The MVP will be receiving a Capstan and also they were receiving sneak energy gift cards. Let's go, there you go. So now as we get ready for the second half, we'll be playing now on the NA servers. How will that affect things as well as the targeting? Right now, all the teams during this break, they're trying to figure out, you know, what did we do wrong? What are the standings? What do we need to change? Who, which team do we focus? And yeah, I mean, I'm sure that the name of Double Gunners came up many times. You know, when you are in the number one spot, you gotta get ready because the pressure is coming. And uh, well, we're about to see if they can handle it. Oh, for sure, yeah. And also the big factor too, we're on NA servers, uh, and that can change too. The top two teams right now had majority EU players, so now the majority of the other teams are NA players, so this could change it. Yeah. It might not be the complete factor, but it could change a little bit of things here and there. Yeah, it could absolutely do it. This is the first time we do a hybrid event like this, but it is awesome that we finally got a chance to do something uh, as exciting as this. Basically, taking the best players from NA and EU, putting them all together in a really fun tournament. And then today we're gonna see which crew is gonna be on top, the draft. 
But we promised you when we were coming to a close last season that we would have a very fun off season. I think that it's been great so far. I'm so happy with the way we've started 2022. We, we came back with some really great slew petitions. And then, of course, the draft. It's been amazing all around. Four more game remains. Double Gunners currently in the lead. Who will be victorious? Let's go. Tails might have a... Uh, they switched players out here, so they might have a little... Because they did that last time, too. Oh, okay, and, okay. And uh, I like that they're using, they're utilizing their whole team, which is a really cool thing to see. And uh, they switched out players. I think they just split the whole thing up and let's see how that goes, too. But they brought in Doink, you know. And okay. y'all know I'm I'm not very, I'm biased to Doink. I think he's trash. I'm just kidding, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nothing but love. Let's go. Oh, no. Doink is a good friend of mine. It's, it's all love. <laughs> No, it's, it's definitely going to be a fun one. This is going to be uh, interesting. I want to see how it goes, how it goes on the NA servers. It's going to be really interesting to find out. I I really want to know everything. Who's going to be the MVP as well? Like, that's cool. Like, to know that you are you were the draft MVP. That's cool. Oh, yeah. And we all get a say in that because when, that, uh, when the clips come in, we'll get the chance to check them out together and vote on our favorite. That would be awesome. Remember, if you want to get involved, you do so by heading over to our website, NotoriousArenaLeague.com. Let me show you here. You can also check us out on our Twitter, exclamation mark, Discord in the chat. You can join our community on Discord. Just a few more moments from getting into the games. Yeah, colors are set. The contest is about to start. Let's go. That is hype. I also want to give a quick mention of the uh, NAL merch. So right now, rocking that NAL hoodie. And, of course, the Oh Yeah mug. Because this is... The Notorious Arena League, home of the best crews on the sea. Oh, yeah. Let's go. And with that, oh, yeah. Let's jump in because we're getting ready to start. Let's go on board with the Pocktails. Start game number four. The second half is here. Let's do this. Pop is going for the hoodie, man. He wants it. Pop wants your hoodie. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, Doinkster go. comes in. So they swapped. Uh, did, who did they swap? We're middle. Obelus. And yes, we, they they swapped. Uh, yeah, they swapped him and put Doink in. Okay, let's see. We have another good boy. That's funny. Both sets have started with good boys. We match what that <laughs> team does. That's pretty wild. What are the odds of that? Drop, drop, drop. He likes to angle. First shots coming into the pixel breakers. Angle, angle. angle. I'll cut behind him if we're too far behind. Oh, it's the middle spawn for Pocktails. This is one of the favorite positions for teams because they have a chance to... Uh, they're not going to be starved for points. They have a chance to third party either to the left-hand side or to the right. Yeah. Yeah, they are full on left hand side, uh, going right for side. that third party. I think they're just kind of keeping an eye on right side. And they're turning for the right side now. Oh, this is yeah, this is gonna be a great for them. If they yeah. can hit their shots here. They're gonna get a lot of points here. Yeah, it's huge. And then another uh, thing to look at is Malders. They're they're on top right now, having a great start. They are they they had a uh, boat scuttle. They knocked down yeah, both yeah, masks already. Boat scuttled on them. Uh, and they're gonna have a rotation on a new boat yeah, here. Teams, that was the Flintlocks. Yeah, Flintlocks not exactly starting how they would have loved to, but ready to catch masks and patch them. The Pocktails cutting in behind. Oh, yeah. there was a board. Pop wow. Yeah. Pomplo. Pomplo board. <laughs> 
Oh, that's crazy. So the pocktails, they they must have sailed right over where the flintlock sunk, and allowing the <laughs> board to come in. Well, that's good for the mutinous molders. because they were molders were not set up though at all. Yeah. They they should have. If they turned more, they had set up. They just didn't know. So it just yeah. yeah. True. If they knew about all that, that would have been insane. That would have been a great chance for them to capitalize on all of that. Yeah. Meanwhile, we go over to Pixel Breakers. They're involved in a fight of their own against Double Gunners. Now, Double Gunners, one of those teams, heavily EU. So, we'll see if the lag affects them. The second half is played on NA, so we'll see. Some really good cannons coming out of Raided. Really everybody on the Pixel Breakers. Super focused. And they need to bounce back. Pixel Breakers are, uh, you know, they're 10 points behind first place. That's an entire, that's more than one full game behind. So they have to do really well as well. We need to see some firsts. Double Gunner's kind of showing early on that, like, it doesn't matter what region we're on. We're going to stay steady and... They're doing a good job. They were very consistent very yesterday, so no shock at all on this. I love you. Yeah. Wax, let's go. What's what Wax? Yeah, we will see. So far, it's starting off really well. Yeah, the thing no, is, no you know, decision making is is really the number one thing no, that ends up being the you know either the success or the failure of a team. And as long as they keep playing smart. I, I that will I be far sense, more sorry, important no. than than the connection. I did something wrong. Ooh, let's go, Pixel Breakers. No. No. Pretty good angle here. We'll see. Uh, angle mid. Oh no, they're gonna right. come in. There's a huge rock formation. The mutinous Molders. Anchor, just anchor. Oh, anchor turn. Okay. Can the Pixel Breakers break the good boy curse too? Yeah. Full mid. On our right. Oh, Just did they mid. anchor to fight the green. double gunners? I think they did. Wow, okay. Well, this could backfire a lot because if the double gunners don't accept the orbit, then the pixel breakers will be kind of stranded with no one to shoot at while the double gunners just keep on sailing towards the other boats that they're party. So I'd be very interested to see if the double gunners. If they take the orbit, why would they? Yeah, they're not doing that. They're going to third party. This is what I was afraid of for the Pixel Breakers. Now they're forced to chase a bit. And this is some point starvation. There's also the Pocktails coming up behind them. Angle mid. Yep. Pocktails are trying to get those shots in right now. Right behind Pixel Breakers. They might be able... Pixel Breakers might just like turn and just go for a 1v1 with the Pocktails, which... Yeah, but if they do that, then they're risking the fact that if Pocktails does the same thing of Double Gunners, then they're chasing again. So I would I would expect the Pixel Breakers just go towards the, the other boats, and then that just leaves Pocktails to chase. Okay, so... Full mid. The, actually, the Fierce Flintlocks right now are getting kind of like in a weird situation here against the Rock. They're able to shoot both boats, and then... You have the Pixel Breakers kind of like right there being able to shoot shots on them That's and they're able to take uh, chains down on double gunners. Yeah, we'll see. Left. Those rocks, sometimes they can be a curse, sometimes they're a blessing. The one good thing about them is that obviously they're they're not going to get shot from the left where the rocks are, but it also is going to uh, limit their positioning. So we'll see. They're now trying some harpoon tactic. They'll try to go around the rocks. Because yeah, right yeah, Pogels is just... That's just a conga line just like going right there. <laughs> yeah. Like... Yeah, they're going to go all the way around the left side of the rocks. That's going to stop the cannons from coming in. They'll be able to fully repair below. Yeah. Lovely service. Interesting. Yeah, so Frosty... One of the EU players, so on bilge, that will be interesting. We also have, again, pixel breakers. They also have jelly, so those are two bilge dealing with the 
the higher ping, but I love what Jelly did. Jelly also turned off the yeah. ping. You know, don't don't get psyched out with that. <laughs> it's distracting, <laughs> I think. Yeah, one thing I kind of want to remind everyone in chat too, if you're new to watching this, what's going on oh, is dude. what we're calling a bilge is the person that's usually the main repair person. They repair the holes and they bucket oh, the water. Yep, They're the main up. one. The flex slash support is someone that is the first one to go down to help out, be the second hand nice. on everything on the boat. And then you have a main cannon, which is obviously the guy that just shoots cannons and really doesn't really do much other than that. And then you get the helm, which is the driver. Yeah. So if you're new to anything like this, those are all the roles. Okay. Yeah, and furthermore, like we're gonna go into a lot of detail with all those roles. If you're interested, check us out January 30. We're doing the NAL Academy. We're going through, inviting the best players, and we're gonna basically go through all the roles and show you the techniques. So you can get in, involved, get started, not just as a player, but as a team. Really good for Pixel Breakers. Eight minutes left in this one, and they're solid in first place. No, 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 shoot purple to shoot him. And they're right behind Mulders, too. They're going to be able to get mass down here on Mulders. Oh, no, Trey, Trey. Yeah, we'll see. I'm looking at fucking blue Y9 is doing so good, oh, looking all around, not getting tunnel visioned. And the thing you want to avoid as a helm is, An angle. you know, get it, getting baited out to the middle of nowhere and then having a hard time getting back to That's the other right. boats. Right, right. Yeah. Y9, yeah, all right. not messing around, just going to go third party instead. We'll see if the pocktails are aware. Y9 off the ship. Off the and ship the wheel was fully cranked. Ball. They're going to anchor. Oh, they, they're going to anchor. Nice. Yeah. I think that's good because obviously they were just about to head towards the pocktails. And with the helm being knocked off, actually, Y9 is going to re -grab. I wonder if he called for the anchor just so he could get back on. <laughs> pocktails in a great 1v1. Now knocking down two masts over there against a flintlocks. And it looks like uh, Flintlocks are not going to have any sails down right now. And Hogtails are going to have a huge farm. If they can get this last mass with... The, they're trying to do it. They're trying to do the last mass with regular cannons. If they do this, they have a great farm here. Oh, yeah. This is huge right there. What a good opportunity. That is the sail of hope right there right now. They are leaving that sail up to make Flintlocks think that they have a little bit of hope. They have, they're completely dry downstairs, by the way. Completely dry, the Hogtails are. They're getting great shots, great points. They can easily catch up. Six minutes left. Yeah, this is in. Yeah. They can definitely catch up. The Flintlocks will, will not want to scuttle because uh, that would put them in fifth. Yeah, we're, we're already seeing two new teams on first and second right now that we haven't seen yet. So like, this is this is great. Like, this is maybe the little NA is uh, being a factor right now too. Yeah, double gunners in fourth. They're about to come in though. I see those green sails approaching. Get him dry below quickly. We can start quad. Okay, left side green. Let's go. Yeah, Malders are currently in last. Was was Molten that big of a factor too? Like scrimming with Molten the whole the whole week and everything, and having Molten on their team, and then having to have a fill in for the uh, for the finals. This could have been the huge factor for them. Yeah. They were looking strong yesterday. They were looking super strong. They had three first place, and I think the only other team that had three first place was the Pixel uh, Breakers. So yeah, that, that like shows that like they were doing a great job. Five minutes left. A lot of lower pressure on the Pocktails, but the Dunkster seems to be doing just fine. I always joke about the Dunkster, but. Man of all traits. He's done a little bit of helming. He's done a little bit of main canning. He's done a little bit of bilging. He's done a little bit of flex. Ooh, Linlux goes and... down. Oh, wow. Puts them right in last place for now. And you get the double gunners in fourth. Two teams that are usually leading it are in yeah. uh, fifth and fourth now. Oh, you can hear Trip X encouraging everybody on the crew saying let's go boys let's go they can feel the hype they're getting so much closer to first place i wonder you know we see this fight pocktails versus the double gunners 
They're catching up. Pixel Breakers are also fighting, but yeah, there it is. Pocktails just have more DPS on this fight than the Pixel Breakers. Let's take a quick look over at the Pixel Breakers and see where they're getting their points from. Yeah, tuned in and yeah. Y9 getting hit on the helm right away. What's a better duo? Y9 and getting hit on helm. I can't find one. That has the best <laughs> duo. Well, yeah. So both Pixel Breakers and Pocktails, they have a broadside. For Pixel Breakers, they're getting closer and closer. So it's good. They need more DPS and it's, uh, it's easier to hit those shots. The closer you get, but at the same time, it's more dangerous as well. There's so oh middle deck for the oh, pixel breakers. Oh no, they need to buck it. Can they save it? It is so close. Oh, they brought it back. That's crazy. That was close. Oh shit! Oh wow, that was a great turnaround right there. Yeah, whenever you see water in the middle deck of the ship, that is usually GG. But they were so quick on it and they brought it back. Great teamwork there, Jelly. Jelly, jelly. <laughs> Both the Pocktails and Pixel angle, Breakers angle, 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 up angle, above 8,000 points. And honestly, Double Gunners, you know, they're in third and they're looking pretty good now. The Mulders have massed down somewhere across the map, not being able to fight anyone. So Double Gunners being able to stay up there a little bit. Yeah, Double Gunners, are they've gained the momentum on that fight against Pogtails. So Pogtails in the lead, but oh, it's, it's a struggle to try to get the momentum back. Juan on the cannon doing... Oh, wait a minute, there's a pinch. I wonder if the Double Gunners saw this. They're getting shot from the other side. Who is it? Oh, wow. Red Sea also becoming a factor. Last minute of the game. Double Gunners in a pinch. Wow, Double Gunners need to stay up. They just need to stay up. Who's on the other side? It is, uh, is, it is the Pixel Breakers. It's Pixel Breakers. Oh. Coming in. Oh, yeah. There it is. The fight. Oh, my goodness. The fight for first place. And they're both, this is nasty, eight cannons face towards the double gunners. Can they stay afloat under such pressure? That's insane. Oh, what? pixel breakers are taking the lead. Yeah, this is quad cannon, this is DPS, who can, oh yeah, there it is. Huge, huge points for the pixel breakers. Fusion going for a board, oh. What? This could be huge. On board, double gunners. It's gonna stand on the grate. They know they have so many holes. There's the backsplash. I, I, I can. Ow. Ow. Same good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Oh, it's they fine. brought. Yeah, they went down to fourth. Double yeah, gunners went down to fourth. Between those Mulders, they right, managed to get third in the last wow. moment. Wow. And of course, yeah, wait, look at the pixel yeah, breakers. Yeah, Great win there for them. Yeah, pixel breakers gosh, on top. Pocktail second place. Third place. Between those Mulders. Double gunners and yeah, flintlocks in the bottom the too. Great. We okay. had a flip. Like we had a flip, dude. Oh, um, maybe the NAEU servers are a factor. Let's go. Yeah, they are a factor. Goodness, that is just absolutely wild. All these teams are trying their absolute hardest, but this is insane. Let's see some love for the pixel breakers in the chat. Remember. If you are following, you can use the follower emotes. We have one emote for each team, so let's show the Pixel Breakers some love as they claim victory in game number four of this seven game series. Let's go. Wow, that was a great first one on the NA servers. Great first game back from the halftime too. That was amazing. Absolutely wild. Let's get it. Well, now we are all interested to see the standings. But before that, I want to remind everyone of the point system that we're using here in the NAL. So let's go through it together. Throughout the night, teams are earning points based on their placement, with first place earning 9 points, second place 
earning 7 points, 3rd place earns 5 points, 4th place earning 3 points, and finally 5th place earns just 2 points. But based on that, we've been keeping track of scores all evening, and we're about to catch up on the overall standings. The objective for these teams is to finish the night on top, a 7 game series. Who will be the best crew here in the NAL Draft? Let's find out how things are looking. Three games still to go. Wow. Wow, it is close. Oh, yeah. It, this is going to be... This is going to come down to the last game. I feel like there's going to be a lot of teams able to win. Gotta love it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is super close. What? Yeah. Look at this, guys. We have the situation. Double Gunners and the Flintlocks, they're still in the top two. But now, look at the points of the Pixel Breakers and the Pocktails. They're right there knocking on the front door. Super close. Three games left in the series. They are all bringing it. That is crazy. I'll say this though, Double Gunners was staying pretty steady until the like the last couple of minutes there. So it just uh that, that pinch really got them. They seemed like yeah. they were gonna be steady there and then that pinch got them. So I still think Double Gunners is gonna be a hard team to slow down. They've been the most consistent this whole tournament, so Yeah. I think it was mostly just they got tunnel vision. They were fighting their 1v1 and then you know, Pixel Breakers comes out on the other side, and that is really the worst kind of pinch you can be in. Pixel Breakers and Puck Tills. But let's go, we're starting game five, on board with Pixel Breakers. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, Jelly's already off the ship. Okay, we just started. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last person you want off the ship, too. Yeah. Why are you having to repair? That just Pock shows you how good these players are, too. The Pocktails are putting in work already over 500 points. We just started, and they're dialed in. Harp right. Can't hold it. The fucking island in the way. Please. Game five. Oh, I love it when we start getting down to game five, game six. Game six is usually where the most targeting takes place. But even game five, too. Ooh. And it, I don't even know if there's going to be that much targeting. I think it's going to be based off of just simply, yeah, I just need to win. win. Yeah, like, just yeah. win. It's very close right now. Absolutely, yeah. But then again, you know, teams might be... I think the only team that could probably be targeting a little bit is Malders. Malders needs to... Get a first place and they need some people to like they have to have a lot of math on their side yeah oh yeah it's <laughs> a lot for sure <laughs> no joke the the pocktails taking some shots over at the double gunners but now peeling off yeah the pocktails are gonna tank some shots but they're uh, they're giving the back. The back is easiest to repair. Over Remember, chat. Wheel. Whenever we switch over to any of these teams, spam those teams' logos in the chat, y'all. Let's get that hype going. Let's go. And right now, on the Pocktails, as we watch them fight the Double Gunners, there's another pinch coming in. Pixel Breakers again. Oh goodness. Pixel Breakers have been doing a great job of doing third parties nonstop too. Yeah. The Pocktails are dipping out of there, and though. Pixel Breakers are quadding. They're quadding right now, right away. That is huge. And now transitioning onto the Pocktails. These are the two crews that are tied Pogtails have first shots, though. Pocktails have first uh, shots, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, the Pocktails are in the middle of a reball, and they're going to be able to get shots back. Oh, this is going to be... Yeah. And they're getting closer and closer. Who can hit their shots here? It's all about who can hit the shots. Can someone get a bag? If y'all oh. don't know if you're new to NAL, what bag means is a kill. Who can get a kill with the cannons? That's what a bag means. The Malders are approaching. There's also an island straight in front of the Pixel Breakers. They're going to have to harpoon here. Drop front. 
There it is. Harpoon right. Raided. Is cool. getting ready for that. The pock deals are going to cut in. And Harpoon as well. Oh, oh this boy, is crazy. Monster, Both crews oh. with clutch Harpoon turns to get around. Oh, oh goodness. The pock tails. The pock tails are latched on. They yeah, that was all. They're going to chop. They're going to chop here. You gotta hit these, gotta hit these chains right here. Pog tells you gotta hit these chains. Yeah, they're going for it. There it is, Juan. They got it, they got it. That's a full right, D-mass right, right, pixel right. breakers. Oh, goodness. And oh, you know, you know what's devastating is there are lots of other crews around the area as well, so. And they're gonna leave them. They're gonna leave them there. They're gonna starve yeah. them a little bit. That was, that was a great play there. Will anyone capitalize on the pixel breakers being fully demasted or will the pixel breakers just raise and go? Let, I kinda wanna take a pick. Oh, what? Oh, they caught? You're kidding me. Oh, they're they, back and going. They're going. They caught their masts. Hey, That's you did crazy. talk about how, how great I'm people are that. recovering. It takes them seconds to recover. That's and insane. And that just showed it right there. <laughs> yeah, it really. I, I was imagining a fully demasted ship heading surrounded. But this, yeah, look at that. Front mast is going down now. Okay. Oh, maybe we were. Let's see here. You did a cast a curse. Cast a curse. Yeah. Well, they're catching mid. Nope. Okay. Back, yeah, yeah. cast their curse. Back. Now they're demastered. Yeah. This, is what, this is more like, makes more sense because they were in the middle of, of everybody. I mean, how do you just get out? Should just start repairing them or Did purple get. Did uh, double gunners get uh, anchored? Oh, right, they did yeah. Not. Oh, well, they did not actually know. It's the, is it headwind? I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, I'm One down, rainy goes down, down there. They still have no lowers though. They're, they're still sitting okay. okay a double gunners are, um, with no lowers and being able to just sit there and just kind of farm. Yeah, and the pixel breakers being fully demasked. What they're just tanking the all the shots, hoping that the teams will like, transition to each other. Nope, they're there it is. Coming. The scuttle comes in. And there's Mulder shooting already. They're getting shots on them right away on the double gunners right now. Well, I think we're at yeah. The edge. We're at the edge. And Mulders are hitting some great oh, yeah, shots here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna turn right here, 100%. Though. If they do, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll be, I'll be ready to 180. All right, I'm 180. Uh, no, they're coming in. Sorry. Right. Oh man, um, Mulder's coming in so hot man. here. Put lowers here if you can. Once they get close. They got anchored. They, they got boarded by blue. They saw. Oh, right, what? You're kidding me. They got. Wow. Oh, they got slayed out. We missed it. We the pixel, it. the pixel breakers went on. Oh, jellyfish! Oh no way! That's crazy. Okay, well that's we gonna have to figure out what happened there. It looks like the pixel breakers boarded oh, and yeah, slayed everyone out. Wow, that's on the double gunners. crazy. <laughs> the flintlocks are back at it shooting. Oh whoa! Look at the flintlocks. They got the cocktails in bad, bad shape right now. Yep, it looks like they're both, uh, oh no, yeah, they're demasted. Pogtails are demasted. Probably gonna get a back sale up here. Just trading, trading points here. Just trading nonstop. We'll see. Man's gonna have to go down soon to help nice Bucket, though. Fucking yeah. I killed one as well. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, the Flintlocks are really getting oh, this. Nuts, now about to send the chop. They want the full demast on the pocktails and they get and it. They wow! Got it. <laughs> nice That's shot by Ben there. He spent all that time raising it. <laughs> Great crazy. shot by Ben. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> and they're gonna be able to move and go around. This is this is gonna be huge. Yeah, pocktails. Wow, had this that's thing. brutal. Yep. yep. Let me shoot at purple who's coming. I think in. it was Pomplo that shot the chain. But uh, either way, okay. goodness, I, the, the yeah, Pocktails probably no, just said, screw this. You know, that was our last chance to get out of here. Here comes the board from Trip. Oh, trip, trip, trip. Oh. <laughs> Wait, there's more, though. I see one in the water. There's uh, Purple Turkey in the water as well. They're anchored. Uh, oh, no. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Let's see if, if Purple Turkey gets on. The flintlocks are moving again. Where's Green? Turkey's on! Turkey's on! Oh, yes, there he is! Oh yeah, my goodness. Him. He's still alive, what? I, no. Okay. Turkey'd. 
Oh, get perkied! <laughs> that was crazy. I, I, I mean, I saw Pump got the eye of reach shot, and then everyone started swarming with the sword. I was like, no that's way! How do you survive that? Okay. Uh, we're going to drop. Well, that's huge. Obviously, now the Malders are getting some free shots onto the Flintlocks. Two sails down, and they're focusing on the wind. They want to just get out of there. They need yep. time to repair. That was a good distraction for them to be able to like to do this to them too. Like for them to board that and do that, that was actually smart. It yeah. makes them have to have to take a little bit more time to recover. It ruined the flow of the flintlocks. Right. Don't get killed. Mast. Uh, oh no. Oh wait, the we do the pocktails are there. They just came back and they have wind. And you know there's only one crew they're going for. They're <laughs> yep. they're right back on the flintlocks. Round two. Let's go. And now, you can imagine the Pocktails would be, would have the advantage. They have the specials, and they are completely uh, fresh ships. So they don't have to worry about middle deck right away. Six minutes left here in game five. Let's get angle. Let's get angle. Remember, we still have an Obsidian Capstan giveaway. That's coming up before the end of the broadcast. You're checking out the draft finals. Very close affair. He's gonna try to pinch yellow. Good sales right. Okay. Sales right. Yeah, even though the Pockdills came in with wind, they're you know the flame locks also had it. It's gonna be interesting. Yep. We have this saying in the NAL, if you're chasing. You're already losing. We'll see though. The flintlocks are slowing down. Yeah, the pixel breakers are just gaining on points here right now. Here. <gasps> gaining. It looks like they're gonna take the lead right now. They have a, a boat completely demasted right now. Okay. They have the double gunners completely demasted right now and they are shooting oh. shots. But they're going around a rock, so it's gonna give them time to recover a little bit here. Yeah, I'm actually curious to see can double gunners recover completely in this moment? With the rock, how much can they do? I'm raising front. Yeah, here we go. They're already raising. They they start with the front and back sail because those ones are harder to shoot down than the middle sail. So it is no surprise to see them doing that. And they're really close to the Red Sea too. You know, honestly, another thing, if, if you could only raise one sail, I'd argue the sail to raise would be the front one. Because, you know, if you're trying to get out, you would imagine you would be presenting the back towards the ship that's shooting you. So the, the sail that is uh, more likely to survive would be the front sail. That's the one they race first. And they go on to the back. And now Pixel Breakers, what can they do? They're waiting. They're still they're, they're gunning. They're looking at that rock, but the, the double gunners are... They're turning left now. We'll meet them. <laughs> they are trying to milk this as much as they can to recover before they take the next fight. Yep. That's funny. The rock strat right there. Finally, we see the, the flag and the double gunners come out fully repaired. That's so that funny. Strat. That was a great shot. <laughs> they went into the pit stop. Right there. Well, the look how much time it wasted too, because it made Pixel Breakers was in first. Yeah. And now they're having to. They went down to third before they got shots again. And now they're back at second. So like, they had to work their way back up again. Yes, sir. Oh. And it, meanwhile, we got Pogtails back in first right now. Yeah. Is that the plane locks they have in trouble? The Malders have gone down. They do. They have the Flintlocks in oh. trouble there a little bit. It, it, no, it was the Malders. Yeah, nice. it, it was, was Malders. Malders. Oh. Yeah. The Pixel yeah, Breakers say, wait, are back in the lead. Fine. Huge. They're getting yeah, closer baby. and closer. Look at Y9. I'm Oh, main mass goes down. Now you want to slow down if you're Pixel Breakers because you don't want to go. Yeah, immediately. Look at that. Such experience. They're raising that main sail right away. And now Y9 looking to cut in behind to avoid getting in the pinch. And slowing and down they perfectly. Could, oh, that's, if they could yeah. de, if they could demass them here, yeah, yeah, yeah. they could make them the the sandwich. 
I'm blown away with their cell work. They raised main exactly when they needed to. Then they raised the front, and they at the moment they got in behind, they redropped. He's going for the. He's going for the map. They're demasted. They did, They got them demasted. That's huge. And now just let it go. They have so many points there on the table. Oh, they didn't get front. They didn't get front. Two minutes left, and it looks like it's gonna be a quad cannon finish. All right, got it. For the pixel breakers. I'm not worrying about masks. Yeah, they are raising front right oh. here to definitely get it. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the difference was when the double gunners lost back sale. You just gotta match speed. So if, if you chain your opponent, you know, then that means you automatically raise your own sale. You don't wanna go in front of them. So we got the same two teams as last round. We got Pixel Breaker and Pogdales in first and second right now. Which is insane. And then we have Flintlocks uh, creeping up in wow, third. You catch? I don't think so. Yeah. Two minutes left. Keep farming. Green's getting points. Bro. Keep getting points. Oh, we need play paint. Pixel Breaker says one minute left. Green is getting points. Let's see who has the better angle. Looks like the Pogtails. They, uh, well, they have an angle as well, but they have so many holes. Come on, That's all we need. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be really tough. Oink is gonna have to do a lot oh. of great, great here. It looks like Pixel Breakers might be in a pinch though. Kyushun is off. Taking oh, the Merm. No. We'll see. They demastered their opponents. Double gunners, though. yeah, double gunners. Maybe it's a straight 1v1. The point what stopped what coming in for the Pixel or for sorry for Pocktails. I'm Bucky Kyushin. I'm, I'm, Last moments I'm of the game, Pocktails rallying through. Is it enough? Is it going to be enough for the Pocktails? Oh, you gotta push, 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 shot, shot! Oh, no way. They got it! They got it! They got it! Wow! You could hear again. Trip. Trip was saying, let's go, let's go, let's go. They got it. Look at that. First place dude. for the Pocktails, second place for Pixel Breakers, third place for Double Gunners. Fourth place for the Furious Flintlocks and the Mutinous Balders coming in fifth. Two more games remain in the seven game series and it's absolutely wild right here. Let's show some love for the Pocktails in the chat. Let's go. Let's see the Pocktails. Let's get those Pocktails spammed in the chat, y'all. Holy crap. Let's that is go. Insane. Insane. These are these games have come down to the wire. They're coming down to the last moments. It's really crazy. It's like the, the points, the scoreboard literally can't keep up with this team. We have to wait until it's fully over for the, the final screen to let us know what is going on. The Pocktails are coming in and they're doing work right now. That is insane. Two more games remaining in this draft final. Let's check out those standings. Oh, it's gonna be crazy. This is going to be close. This is going to be super close. I, I'm going to predict still to a tie somewhere, you know? Yeah. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, let's go. Wow. Pocktails in the chat because we have a tie now for first. <laughs> that is wild. Pocktails are now tied with double gunners. 31 points apiece. The Pixel Breakers are right there, two points shy with 29. That might be one of the best positions to be in because now we're getting down to game six and seven. And uh, you don't want to be exactly number one spot because then everyone's going to be focusing you. So being close to the top but not quite there is, is what's worked the most in the past. We've seen a few exceptions like uh, Sloop Deluxe was able to, to win the seven game series while being ahead going into the last game but it is really tough to pull it off really really tough oh yeah for sure and, the, and this is like this is gonna be coming down to because i mean all three of these teams or all four of these teams can, can win it so what we have two games left and all four teams are still in the running for it it's gonna come close it's gonna be really really close remember guys we still have the obsidian capstan giveaway coming up before the end of the broadcast we stop to decide who's going to be the mvp who's going to win this thing there's so many things to find out 
it is getting super exciting here as we come down to the last two games and still it's anybody's let's go yeah Malders can play the upset too they can literally play the upset they can yeah, sit there they and they tough. can just be like you know make it tough but if they get a first they can stop someone from easily like winning here now this is going to be interesting here The Marco says, cruise to your ships. We're getting ready to start game six. We go on board the Pocktails. Let's get it. Can they do it again? Let's find out. Yeah, spam your favorite teams, the emotes who you think is going to win. Who do you think is going to win this game? Spam the emotes of who you think is going to win. Remember, they are free emotes. As long as you are a follower, you can use these emotes of these amazing teams, y'all. So spam your who you think is going to win. Yeah, let's go. Let's support this teams. We got amazing talent here. Pixel Breakers, Pocktails, the Furious Flintlocks, Double Gunners, and the Mutinous Malders. It's coming down to the last two games. Let's check it out. I'll with you. have had a great start every time, and I think it's a factor of them being in the middle, having that middle spawn, so. Yeah. In the early days of the NAL, teams used to scuttle when they got the middle spawn because they're like, oh no, we're in the middle of everyone. But then they realized that, you know, the outside ships, they're always going to shoot the interior ships. So it basically allows the middle ship to come in and just third party either side. Yep. I want to see someone get turkeyed. If y'all don't know what that means, it's when Purple Turkey boards a boat and anchors them and slays out. I want to see a turkey. <laughs> yeah, hey, that uh, that was pretty wild on the Flinlocks. Almost achieved it. He did. He got he got one kill, and he was staying alive for a long time there. They lost their back, though. Higher, higher. Nice shots going out already. Double Gunners leading... Double gunners, they're just they're yeah. solid. The whole the whole tournament, they've been solid. Yeah, but slowly their lead has been dwindling away, and you know it really they they can't afford too many more lower placements. Like they have now come to a point. Pocktails is tied with them. But let's go over to double gunners because now the first team to reach over a thousand points here. I have to say that the recovery strat was so awesome. Like, <laughs> the rock oh, yeah. stopped. It was, it was great. insane. For the pixel breakers, they're like, well, what's taking them so long? <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of credit is not given to Rainy. Rainy's been doing a great job as a flex. Like, sometimes he'll even go down there, and uh, you don't see that very often from a lot of flexes. Oof. A lot of the good flexes do it, but he'll go down there and repair a hole Once so then the builds can stay shooting now. cannons. So it keeps, it, it, keeps it better. Like, it keeps them having a yeah. rhythm of being able to okay. shoot, and it's a great job. Yeah. The pixel that, breakers. One thing I hate as mm -hmm. a player is if I'm getting shots and I'm landing and landing and someone calls me to do something, it always sucks. It breaks my rhythm. So, Rainy doing little things like that can go a long way. Yeah, that's a good point. While wow, every crew is is very close to each other, do, do they have holes there's somebody that's... Yes. Uh, who is yeah. that crew with the yeah, back mask back. down? Yeah, because they are sandwich, about to get yeah. sandwiched by everyone. I'm wrapping this. Close to the Red Sea. Double Gunners have no choice. They have to basically Drop just front. turn towards the, the Sea Dogs outpost. That marks and the middle left, of the left, right now. map. Let's go. The Pocktails are coming in. Oh, this could be really good for the Pocktails. But I wonder if they are aware of Red Sea. Because they might just dip a bit into it as they look to punish the Double Gunners. Oh, there it is. Anchor turn. Now that will keep them clear of red. Yeah. They're gonna probably harpoon here. Cutting it close. And calling for harpoon. Is it gonna happen? No. You're good. No. I'm going. Yeah, you're going one. They thought about no, it, but. Shoot left. Shoot left. They're just gonna go around the normal way. Do we have angle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Higher, I think. Out to your right, blue. 
You hear that, Wags? Oh, Wags. Oh, my goodness. Wags didn't die. Yes, Did you see that? Wow. Literally ate it and it's like, <laughs> yum, yum. Yeah, like ate that. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that ping might have saved him there. What is his ping at? Like 250? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that I would be, I'd be molding. Lower, guys. You're overshooting everything. I'm yeah. hitting. What do you mean? Okay, sorry, sorry. So, someone were overshooting. Chain them, chain them, chain them, chain them. Let's go. Here comes the chops. Everyone chain. Have two more go. Oh, they hit the main mast. Nice, okay. Nice. No. Is that back? Is that back? Ooh, oh. almost. Chain them, chain them. For the pocktails, they might catch. They did. They caught that main right away. They're not messing around. And they around. get the rock. And they got the rock this time. <laughs> yeah, rock recovery here. Oh, wait. More chain shots coming. And chain shots. The double gunners are really committed here. They, they want... Oh, back mask going down, but Trip catches it right away. This has really been one of the strengths of the Pucktails. They are so good repairing their masks and making sure they can continue sailing. The only way to avoid getting caught in pinches is to keep on repositioning at all times. Maybe Obviously, having your mask lets you do so much more. Pixel breakers are doing work, though. Oh, someone went down. Double gunners. Good, Double sure. gunners. I think they... Oh, they're in the Red Sea. Yeah. Yeah, they, they basically... They got out of Red Sea, and they they orbited back in on the fight with Pocktails. And in doing so, they went back in on Red. We got pixel breakers shots. here in first place right now. Yeah. Just dialing it in. They're just going at it against the Malders right now. They break the main mast. And what's huge here is if we go to Malders. Oh, they've uh, they've gone down. So I guess, yeah, that was <laughs> that was huge. Yeah. I yeah, was going to comment. They were just going in on them. <laughs> I was going to comment that it, it's very good strategy. If you see that your opponent is taking the broadside on their their uh, left side so i guess what that'll be the port side of the ship uh if you break the main mast that will get in the way of their cannons so that's what i saw the the pixel oh, breakers oh no the flintlocks are in a oh, sandwich yeah. right now and they're trying to fly by but one of their masts went down so they're trying to still like catch wind and just fly by this as fast as they can hopefully to try to get out of it I'm yeah it, it, they might be able to get out of it here you want me to raise mid? Nope. yeah i think so we're okay. Yeah, they're fine. The wind is yeah. taking oh, them out. Yeah. You're gonna raise front uh, now. Oh, I can't play that. Yeah, I think the Pogtails just uh, uh, anchor turns behind them. Fucking... Oh no, they they're harpooning. Yeah. I'm gonna raise mid. No, Trip just wants us. Trip's only goal in this game is us. Red's fucking losing you, bro. I know. Oh, they've spotted the Pixel Breakers. On front two, or no? About to line up in a fight against the Furious Flintlocks. Okay. Let's see. Let purple and green trade and we should move up the second if we can make a point. And again, like there's eight minutes left and the top two teams are the Pogtails and the Pixel Breakers, that, which is crazy. Yeah. I go on. Let's go. Should go. Full front, double it, double, 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 double. Right. I feel well, like the flintlocks and the double guns have been fighting for that third place a okay. lot. Come. Yeah, I mean, the, the second half has certainly affected them. We've seen a huge resurgence from both Pixel Breakers and the Pocktails. And now you can see this uh, really good fight. Pixel Breakers getting the better of it initially, but now the Pocktails are coming in. We need to push down purple. We need to. And right away, the Pixel Breakers know it. The Pocktails need to go down. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Come on. Would be so hyped to see Kushin go for a board. Kushin is really, really good at boarding. Yeah. Kushin board and then Turkey board at the same time? Have a real little, like, double board from uh, oh, yeah. two different boats? That would be nice. Shoot green. Shoot green. Shoot green. No choice but to transition oh, onto the double gunners. If it were to finish this way, that'd be pretty crazy. We'd have a tie with Pocktails and Pixel Breakers. Yeah. 
And then the double gunners would just be two points behind the, the top. That would be a wild game seven. Tired one. <laughs> Let's go. You're trash, dude. You're insane. Wow. Turning out, turning out, full front. Let's All go right. check out a bit of Pocktails, see what's going on over there. Pretty uh, long range uh, rod here. Everyone's really close from second to third. Everyone's Pogtails really close. Back. Yeah, we're shooting left on green. I think Pogtails needs to really like get a separation here and try to catch up to first. Yeah, it's still plenty of time to do it. They have to be ready to pounce in and third party the pixel breakers or even the flame locks. Oh, flame locks will go down. So this is. Wow. Yeah, that's brutal. But the pixel breakers now over 7,000 points doing work. Rated with a really good harpoon turn. I'll tell you. I'll let you know. Hogtail's still dry though in this broad they're doing it. Drop mid. And uh, they're um, able to get a lot of points here. Yeah, sales to win, drop mid. He's gotta hit their shots. It's fine. Get ready to shoot left side on yellow. No, 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 no. I'm feeling right. Oh, chain shots coming in. The Malders. Oh, Malders oh. coming in with the special dump. Oh, yeah. Hell. That's fine, that's fine. Don't worry. Backmat's going down. I think mid as well, but they caught it. Caught the Pogtails. Yeah. Blunder. Blunder. Oh, the Pogtails are in trouble. This is insane from the Malders. Yeah. They're able to recover though. Oh. They're able to recover all the holes down below. Pogtails were. Yeah, so... they need to move. They're about to get shot from three oh, different ships. Home. They're getting triangulated right now. Oh man, this is. Yeah, they're, they're getting sails up as they can. Yeah. This... this is gonna drop and get out of here. If they lose their main mast. Oh, the wheel broken. Yeah, oh my god. And trip oh, dead. Yeah, yeah, this might be a. Dead. They're triangulated right now. It's, it's gonna be very hard for them to get away from here. Really tough, really tough really for the pixel breakers. Cushion board them. They're in control. Cushion board them. I hear the magic words. Let's go full screen on Cushion. Oh, okay. Taking sweet time to aim the cannon, but will it pay off in the air? Going for the deck shot. Deck. Oh, no. oh. He's, gonna go. He's gonna get bored though. He's gonna get bored no matter what. He's gonna get bored. Okay, here we go. On ladder, on board, the double gunners goes for the main cannon player, anchor. dropping anchor. Now going for the great, it's gonna have a fight with Wags. Anchor. Now Jump going towards the back. Here. Will he go for the pixel jump? Oh, oh, he's getting it. Yep, jump front. Got the sink. And they sunk, and they sunk. Oh, and gets the top, let's go. Kishin with a huge play. Not happy purple. with just the one purple. kill. It's working on the rest. <laughs> Gets a shot on each of the players. Let's go. Yo, that is Yushin, insane. That was that was great play there. Molten Sands down. with the subs. I'm working on Sunday, but glad it's going well it, for the mall. Let's go. Let's go. Well, Molten Sands, you know, it was a blast. Uh, to, we checked out a few moments there last uh, last night. Some good boards, and just coming in at a perfect time. With Kushin going off with that board, and really look at the pixel breakers just going to town. Looking that was very a smart strong. decision to pick uh, the double gunners to sink there because double gunners are currently tied in first. Yeah, knocking them down the fourth right there was massive. That's huge, absolutely huge. No, we have And can the Pogtails hold on? We know they were in trouble, they were nearly fully demasted, and now we catch up with them. They're dealing with the Malders. Trip X off the boat. I hear the death crank uh, there from all the the water. They might be in big, big trouble. They got boarded. It is the Flintlock. Pomplo with a board. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Remember, we need to keep the 
Let's, Let's go, a word with a sub. Oh, I got fucking get it. Yellow's on their fucking ship, bro. Oh, turkey with the ship the fence. Let's go, Ziegler, Frosty. Let's go. They're definitely wow. gonna go I think there was another board. Kushan again. Kushan going for another board. There's the sink. Right away, it was mostly the flintlocks that had done it. But the thing is, can the flintlocks surpass the pock tills? The pock tills just sunk. Points. Purple has no points for the rest of the game. Yeah, the flintlocks need to get a lot of points here. They can do this. The flintlocks are in a great position to take over in second place. Oh my god, come on. Frosty on helm. This is it right here. A battle against the clock. You see. Oh, back on. Kill back back on. On. Quad cannon to finish and get second place. Oh, easy, easy second place right there. They are so close. Just a few more shots. They can take over. Oh, it's so close. Oh, oh, but they did it. By a hair, but they got it. Sneaking into that second, pushes Pocktails down. The Pixel Breakers in a great position going into game seven. Check oh, that out. Dude, even... Wow. This is Let's... Look, Double Gunners got last. Brutal. Double Gunners got last. Yeah, that's brutal. Let's see some Pixel Breaker emotes in the chat. Let's go because it is lit right now. One more game till we figure out who will be the draft champions. And right now, Pixel Breakers are looking really, really deadly. I mean, let's, let's be serious. They're picking the right fights. And uh, in those moments when you need a clutch play, Kushin, yeah. is, Kushin is doing a lot of work with those boards. Tell you what. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I think Kushin would be definitely in the running for a little MVP action there, you know? A little nice little board if they win, but they we'll are see. leading going into the last round. Exactly. You know how that goes. Yeah, that's really tough. We've only seen it done once. It was Slip the Lugs in the Rank 3 Alpha Finals. They were able to figure out how, how to maneuver and survive the, the heavy targeting. It's really tough. Can we see it again? We're gonna find out. We're just a few more moments away from game seven. And of course, let's check out those standings ahead of the very last game. Oh my goodness. These teams are leaving it all out on the seas. It is great to yeah. see. All right, here we go. Going into game seven of the draft. The Pixel Breakers leading the charge with 38 points. The Pocktails in second with 36 points. The Flintlocks tied in third with Double Gunners with 33 points. And then the Mulders in fifth with 16 points. So if we think about it, the maximum gap that you can overcome in a game is seven. So, you know, the difference there between first and fourth no, it's it's less than the seven. So that means even the double gunners going into the last game, they have a win condition. It's gonna be really tough. Yeah, we have four teams but, with win conditions going into this last game. Yeah. And it Yeah, I, I honestly it's win. It, it's 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 go time. It, you have to win this one. Yep, and the Marco says the next contest is about to start. We go on board with the Pixel Breakers to see if they can do it, if they can claim the ultimate glory here in the draft. And become draft champions. Let's find out together. Here we go. Yo, chat, spam your favorite emo. Who you think is gonna win? Double gunners, flintlocks. Uh, the Baldurs are currently out oh. mathematically, so that that is a shame. But basically, like double gunners, that. flintlocks, pogtails, or pixel. Which one do y'all think is going to win <laughs> the first ever NAL draft? Yeah. It's real close. Anything can happen. Because right, the question okay. for me is, Pop can tills, Pixel Breakers us, deal with the pressure? They are going to get targeted. It is not a question a of win. if. That's it is a question of when. Yeah. Can they handle it? Let's go. Because game seven of the draft, the last game, is live. Let's get it. Rock tire left. And then vote the scuttle. The scuttle. Oh yeah, why well, am I raising anchor? Oh, they're going for the. Oh, yeah. A lot of opening place. shots they went, here. They went yeah. for the scuttle right away, yeah. Yeah, but you know what's cool is they rack up some points while. <laughs> and 
Wow, that is awesome. Yeah, that was that's pretty good. I like that. They shot up high enough and they were scuttle. Yeah. Get points. Yeah, so that scuttle only cost them 800 points, I guess, let's say. But yeah, I mean double the double the specials. I guess it doesn't really cost them anything because it just started. We're good. We're good. But yeah. we got we got I mean that's crazy. They're still ahead. What is going on? No one <laughs> has landed any other shots. This is kind of wild. I can't remember any other instance that this has happened. If you look at the Mulder's map, they're looking what? at the map. Everyone's separated from each other. Everyone's yeah. separated. I think everyone is super playing it safe right now. And let's go. Double gunners finally getting in some points. Double Gunners and Pogtails looks like they're getting into a fight here. Oh, wait a minute, but... Dying. Yeah. Double Gunners pick up a kill. Oh, they're going for the early scuttle. Pogtails are scuttling. Yeah, they just realized they were not getting this. They don't want to give too many points. That is Double Gunners with a great start. Let's not forget Double Gunners... Yeah, they, they have win condition as well, so. But I'm pretty sure they have to win. So. Wow. Is there a chance for like a, a possible couple ties here? Yeah. They anchored, I think, maybe? No. It, Double Gunners went straight into another fight, by the way. Slowly. Yeah, they are not wasting time. Oh Already God. onto it with the Maulders. Try to chain them. Try to chain them. Every, everything. Everyone chain. Oh my God. Nice spawn. I'm dead. So for for double gunners, if we will lose all for, best, for double gunners and flintlocks to get it, they not just have to win, but they also have to push the pixel breakers don't sing, don't, to don't last. Sing, don't, don't sing, guys. We, we, we are good. I'm dead. I'm dead. Don't sink. I don't think Let's there's stronger. anything stopping the pixel breakers. I think yeah. they're gonna come out and go Look strong. Double gunners are having too much water. They can just go down. Middle deck flooding. Mulder's in second. Oh, there's almost sunk there. They were on second deck and they were able to recover too. That's crazy. Yeah, and there's a ship approaching. Who is it? It's the Pogtails. It's the oh, it's Pogtails? Oh. The, the Pogtails approaching the Mulders right now. It's okay if we... It's okay. Wow. This is fine. I'm here. I'm here. Should be on left side. Pogtails coming in pretty quickly and they're headed straight towards Shipwreck Bay. So we might see some harpoon turns. Shipwreck Bay is a really bad island for harpooning too. It doesn't have that deep of a grab and then uh, your harpoon does break a lot, so. Yeah, it's happening to them. One is hoping that they get it, but no, it keeps breaking and oh, they're gonna end up yeah. crashing. Oh, this might be really bad. They might get stuck. Well, they're bouncing off, okay. And they slow this down. Showing that, that a helm doesn't, is not doing their homework a little bit there. Exactly. <laughs> you know your islands, which ones you can harpoon, which ones you can't. Come on. Yeah, yeah it's tough. Quick, 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 it's quick, real quick. tough. You're right. Left side purple. They're nosing. They have to nose. They can't turn off. They'll get no harpoon. Okay. No harpoon so, well, X says no harpoon here. So maybe... <laughs> he does. He, he does. He, has a little he does. I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe yeah. he was pretty confident there. No harpoon here. They're gonna have to nose us, okay. This is huge. The Pogtail's getting chopped from two crews right now. Chain's going. Main mass going down. Will anyone catch it? I think they're gonna leave it. They're they're harpooning around this rock actually right now. But they okay. caught it. They did someone must have caught it. Oh they no, did. No, it's going down again. Oh, turkey died catching it. Turkey died catching it. Oh, one on harpoon. They're trying to get out of there. It looked like a pinch that was developing. And now they have some angle on the flintlocks. The doinks they're doing work, but lots of water. It's going to need some help before they can go down and start repairing. He's gotten some help. They're on it. 
Juan's able to get back on cans here. They're gonna have to use some blunders here. Yeah. Oh, the angle is not not that great. It's closing in on. Oh, the wheel was broken though. Tripex doing mm -hmm. best they can to rep it and cut in behind the flintlocks. Wheel still not fully fixed. Game. It was triple chattered. I need front raise one. Front raise, front raise. Central border as well. We have Colin? the flintlocks here. Oh, yeah. flintlocks are just they're okay. nosy. Oh, they're they gonna be able to get behind them? Well, the trip calling for potential board, so we might see it. Oh, pump was so tempted. They're definitely gonna ball us too. See the guy repairing the wheel. I just sniped him. I think I sniped main cannon. Here we go. The Pocktails get some shots. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The flame locks don't yet have the angle, but they're gonna get it soon. Here we go. We're not taking damage, though. Who will get the kills? They're good. Blue's, Blue's oh. Oh. You should be dead. I mean, wow, Ziegler know. nearly dies. Definitely it made the sound. They're all three lows on us, all of them. Wow. Here comes a chop from Pomplo. Oh. Onto That's back mass, enough. yes, and another one going for front, yes. Wow, huge play. That leaves the pocktail stranded. Oh, that is nasty. That could oh, be. Oh, and a kill too. Yeah, that that could be a you're very fine, fine. crucial moment in this broadside. Yeah, we're chilling, we're chilling. Come on. I love it when I see be specials dead. on the helm because exactly things like that can happen. They're just huge. Here comes more blunder. Oh goodness. Meanwhile, the pixel breakers. On the other side, well, I don't want to turn I'm away though. This is crazy. Hold on. <laughs> what is gonna happen? Oh, they're gonna they they blundered them uh, thanks, into a better broad. No, that's not oh. where you hit it here. Oh, Juan is loading the blunder. They really they're from the stairs. It did work for a moment. Oh, Belka with the raid. Let's go, Spyglass Cat. Thank you very much, my friend. Here catching the action. Game seven of the draft finals. Eight minutes left to go. The Pocktail's in trouble with the Flintlocks. Yeah, pretty much just completely demastered. They might just scuttle here. This is going to be very hard for them to recover. I don't see it. Calling for a board. They're calling for the turkey board. We don't... Let's see it from... From the Furious Flintlock perspective. Turkey goes on. And... It's, it's a double well, board, but they re they managed to catch mass or sorry, catch anchor and <laughs> kill both borders. Just kidding, I missed. I look like Pop was about to try to get it on their boat too. Go. Yeah. Oh, and picks up the kill. That's huge. What? That's crazy. Go, Matt. Go. Matt in going for the board. He'll trip on the wheel. He's he's fucking going to res. He's going to res on the stairs. Oh. Good, 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 good. Them, them, oh, them. this is huge. Okay, Pocktails are taking too long to scuttle. I mean, oh, they're gonna sink. Yeah, that's it. What a play. Pocktails down to fifth. Now it's the pixel breakers up top. Shoot them. Matin in a one B with purple turkey, but that's just gonna take the elevator right back to the ship. There we go. Now going to the pixel breakers. They have to be super happy about that. Their biggest rivals, the Pocktails, down in fifth with six minutes left. Pocktails in a fantastic position to claim victory here. Just shit nine. Can we shoot left on blue? But it's still relatively low scoring. We've seen some insane uh, points per minute in the last moments of the game. Uh, no, it should be fine. Pick points. Just repping that back mast. Yeah. We'll see what happens. The Malders are coming in. With some good fire. Two blunders. They missed one. Great shot here. I'm dead. Pick up two. They now one mast already. Oh, yeah. great shots. Yeah, and I think there was a blendy as well, blunderbomb that uh, messed up the angle a bit for the Malders. Chain him, chain him, chain him, chain him. Here comes them. more chain shot. Malders re wow. back some blunders too. Drop front. I'm gonna have these guys get the back. Drop mid as well. Now this is very amazing. Remember, Pixel Breakers went into this ahead, so you would imagine they would be the the victims of of the heaviest logical targeting. 
They would be the ones to get boarded and so on. But they have done great. Five minutes left. And they are currently in the lead. It's about to be. Oh, Zooks is boarding! Zooks oh. is boarding! There it is. We have shots right. This could derail oh, everything for the pixel breakers. Going for the anchor and now charging up the sword lunge. If he dies, even if he dies on the grate, that's still. Oh, okay. Oh, he kills one. I think yeah. they're anchored. Yep. The pixel breakers are raising their anchor. And meanwhile, the flintlocks are opening up on them. I gotta turn hard left. Oh, no. they got nailed! The flintlocks nailed them! No way! The anchor is going down. Raided yeah, immediately, no, 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 no. considering the scuttle. They're gonna have to. That was insane. The cannonball just wow. completely stopped. That is insane. Now they're calling for Kushin to go board. It's calling for a board onto the Pogtails. Can Kushin do it? Jelly is going. Oh, he's not gonna be able to reach it. He's not gonna be able to reach it. Not quite. Yeah, not quite. We should get a good spawn. Catch him, Jelly. Oh well, that shakes everything up. The Pogtails are coming back in. The the that could be a wild card. The Flintlocks now in the lead here, but they have a huge job to do. They would need the Pixel Breakers in last to win this one, so. Three minutes left. Yeah. Pixel Breakers now going down to third place. In purple, so I am. The Mulders in fourth. Double Gunners in the lead. Look at this. That's huge. Wow, Double Gunners in the lead. So Double Gunners or Flintlocks need to win. And Pixel needs to get last. So, like... Ah, this is this yeah. is gonna be insane. Otherwise, it would be a tie. Like if, if Pixel Breakers gets fourth, then they are in fourth right now. Yeah, and then it would be a tie. Oh my god! Or is it? What are the what are the Pogtails doing right now? Pogtails, Pogtails have two boats. Easy, easy points here for Pogtails. Oh goodness! Oh, they have they have a farm. Both boats are demasted. And they have shots on either huge. one, and no one has shots on them. No one has shots on them. They can get so many points here. Oh, that would be so crazy if the Pogtails come back after the sink and just claim it. That's insane. They could. They're, gonna, they're about to start quadding here in a second. This could be the turnaround. Oh, actually, fourth. Oh, goodness. For both the Flintlocks and the Double Gunners, the fourth also would work. Or the the gunners have gone down to fourth place now. Everyone's just jumping around from the it's rankings so close. right now. It's so close. And it looks like Pogtails are in a great position. You called it. I mean, this is insane right now. The DPS, this is crazy. First place! They're in first place! They're going to town. Rallying for the push here. Rallying for the win. This would be crazy, though. It would be a tie because look at... Pixel Breakers is two points ahead of Pogtails. So if oh Pixel Breakers get second, that's a tie. Kushin just got knocked off the Pixel Breakers boat. They're in the same position. They're just farming a boat also. Oh my goodness. The last two minutes, it is crazy, but... No lowers, no lowers. Yeah, they're calling no lowers. They don't want that ship to sink. They want to be able to score on it as much as possible. On the other side, the Pogtails are going to town. They're taking a lot of damage too as well though. Doinkster on buckets. Jelly is also doing some buckets. Oh, the Pixel Breakers are back in the lead. Last minute, 60 seconds. The Pogtails need to rally harder. Yeah, they do. Oh, can they do it? It's a, it's a lot of points to make up. Less than 15 seconds. Oh my God. And the Pogtails do this. Wow. And they pick up a kill. It's so close. Push, Three push, teams push, in the 7,000. We don't know. Oh, they almost sunk. Did they sink? Oh, my goodness. They. Wow. Dude, they sunk, but it didn't matter. It was after. It was like a millisecond after the game was over. Oh, my what? God. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. And the Pixel Breakers in second. So that means we're going to have a tie for first there. Oh, that's the, my no. Whoa. God. Okay. It's coming down to the number of wins. 
What happened? Oh, wow. Okay, who got more wins? Good fucking What? Guys. I think they tied on wins. I think they tied on wins. What? I think they tied on wins. Dude, what the heck is going on right now? Let's... Everyone's asking for a showdown. <laughs> Everyone wants a showdown. No way. That was some of the best competitive Sea of Thieves you'll ever see. Literally coming down to the last moment. They sunk. Akub, they sunk. It, it was yeah. one millisecond after it was over. It was crazy. That is wow. insane. That means the bilge was able to just get like one or two cannons and time it just right maximizing the points and not losing the thousand for for sinking that is crazy that is absolutely just wild no way let's check out the standings here right now the reps are gonna figure out how we're gonna settle this <laughs> i mean i mean uh, you wow. know the crowd wants a showdown you know oh my. <laughs> You know, yeah, that's wild. That is absolutely... <laughs> oh my goodness, man. I can't believe it. You know what's crazy is I, I love the showdown, and usually we don't get it. So so it's like... And, and then this time, when we weren't planning for showdown, then of course that's when it happens. And then they're tied wow. in first as well. We mentioned the silver, but I will leave it up to the refs to give us the final call on this but meanwhile let me show you the standings because this really was an incredible evening of matches the pocktails and the pixel breakers dead even at 45 points that was just incredible the double gunners in third place with 38 points the furious flintlocks in fourth with 35 and the mutinous Mulders coming in fifth with 19 points but I gotta tell you, that was crazy. And I'm, and we still don't know. We still don't know. The, the suspense is just building and building. Who won? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, if, if there's oh, a way, buddies. I mean, oh man, that is just insane. I think they tied for first places. I think they did. I'm not 100% on that. But I'm pretty sure they both had two. Oh my goodness. The refs are counting it down, guys. They're, they're counting it down. That is just wild. <laughs> Showdown or riot. You know, <laughs> oh my. Showdown There's a for, way, you know. Yeah. For, for those that are uh, just hearing about the word showdown, not sure what it is. I'll explain that. It, you know, traditionally in the NAL, when we have a tie like this, we would settle it. In a showdown, it is all about the individual player. So throughout this competition here, we've tested teams on their, their teamwork, their ability to play in the arena. And the showdown is where we test the individuals and their PvP. They go to an island, they 1v1. It's the best of five series of 1v1s. But there's a lot of prep that goes into it. Miles with the sub, let's go. Oh, Pogtails oh. had three wins. Oh, there it is. They did not have the same number of wins. The refs just counted it. The Pogtails no had way. three. Rage. No way. Let's Pogtails go. are <laughs> winners. The Pogtails. Spam the Pogtails in the chat. Let's go. What a way. They sunk in the last millisecond of that to capture oh draft. Oh, my God. The draft victory. No way. That is absolutely insane. The Pocktails coming in clutch. That is amazing. All right. So we also have to figure out who's going to get MVP as well. But goodness. Let's see. Re refs are typing in some stuff. Let's see what, what else they got to say. But let's go Pocktails. Dude, no way. I did not. That was awesome, dude. That was a great wow. ending to... Oh, that was intense. <laughs> intense. Dude, it is insane. Wow. That is just in, 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 insane. Insane. So, Pocktails get it. All right. Well, 
Two more things remain. We'll get a chance to talk with the Pogtails, of course, and how they're feeling following their draft championship. And then, of course, we'll also do that MVP voting. So right now, refs are putting together the favorite clips uh, of today from the winning team. So we know at least that the MVP will come from the Pogtails. And also, the thing is, Pogtails used all five of their players today. All five of their players played today. That's so, amazing. That's so great to see it. Yeah, everyone who got drafted got the chance to play and be a part of this. So, so great to see. What a way to go, man. Absolutely hype. Okay, so right now, we'll take a short break. And uh, then we'll come back. And we'll start looking at those clips for MVP. Once we figure out the MVP... Then we'll talk to the Pocktails and we'll celebrate their victory and also congratulate the MVP at the same time. But in the meantime, I want to show you guys the amazing Notorious Partners. So at the end of the broadcast, we'll go raid one of them. So check this out. Uh, we'll, we still have the Obsidian Capstan giveaway, so don't worry. I did not forget. Then we'll come back in for those uh, MVP voting. Let's go. Jeez. Come on. Hey, maybe, maybe I'll have my moment. let's go so the clips are starting to come in we still have to vote on the MVP so let's go let me show you what that trophy is gonna look like absolutely insane who will be the draft MVP let's go just waiting a bit more for the the clips to come in I see a lot of Juan in the chat. <laughs> a lot of Juans in the chat, yeah. But then we were also talking about Kyushin. Kyushin had some insane boards, too. It's tough. Kyushin, and Trip. It was Turkey. It was Tur uh, Kyushin was on that team. 
All she right. was on Pixel, yeah. Yeah, right. Goodness. Yeah, Turkey. Right. I mean, goodness. I hope Turkey clips something because uh, that would be good to see it. The I hope we get to see the trip the trip X sword lunge from yesterday. Yeah, trip X sword lunge yesterday was absolutely the, insane. Doink right? and Obi carrying with the bilge too. Like that needs to be a huge like I mean, Doink right there holding it up for that split second. I mean what? Dude, what? that was like, crazy. Yeah, that's no joke, right? They 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 timed it just perfectly. Unbelievable. They all did so well. Trip sword sword lunge off the boat to hit two people off the ladder. <laughs> Caught the ladder, climbed back up and said, "Later, bitch." <laughs> yeah. Yo, for real. It's like that the fact that the helm player did that. Imagine if you mess that up, then everyone's going to be scratching their heads thinking, "Whoa, hold on. Why uh, where's my helm? Why did he just jump off the boat?" But no. <laughs> they pulled it off. That is just crazy. Okay, so I have one clip for now. So Let's start watching as we go here, and the, the clips will, will start coming in. We'll figure out who will be the MVP for the draft overall. Let's go. Okay. The first clip coming in is Juan during game three. Let's check this out. All right, here we go. This is this one and sure from the Pocktails game three. Let's check it out. First, it's very close. It looks like they're they're well on their way here. Well it's on their way. It's gonna be close. Pog Tales are gonna get is. first. Pog Tales are gonna get first. It actually works oh, out. Oh wow. The Flintlocks go down though. We got it. Oh, oh it didn't matter. The, the placements are the same. The same, but Pog Tales get first place yeah, there. Awesome. Huge. Exactly what they needed. <laughs> Second place for double. Yeah, so right there, what you get to see is just some insane cannons. I mean, right there, hitting everything exactly what you want to see in your main cannon of course that's what Juan was doing today for the pocktails main you want your main cannon here hitting everything making it as tough as possible for the competition first and a little it's, celebration there at the end you know just doing a little emoting at the end to yeah show you, like yeah what's up you gotta have that swagger absolutely you gotta have the swagger all right we have another clip this one is a hype moment from trip x the captain of the pocktails so let's go here, let's check this out, hype moment. Let's go. Hype moment. How fucking bad do we want to win? How fucking bad do we want to win? Find this boat! Find this boat! And I think that was right at the end of game seven. How fucking bad do we want to win? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I want to watch it again. This is the hype. You really want to see it. Like as as a helm, you're you're captaining your team. You want to push them, make it so that everyone is shooting as much as they can. Look at this; they were in fifth. They were in fifth place with two minutes left. That's just wild. And now. How bad do we want to win? How fucking bad do we want to win? Find this boat. Find this boat. Wow. That's crazy. Let's go. Mid place with two minutes left. Wow. Right when I saw it, that's why I got so hyped. I saw yeah. two boats demasted and them coming in perfectly. I was like, they're about to do this. They're about to do this. Oh, man. Yeah. That was insane. Another thing we mentioned was the, the clip from yesterday, that sword lunch. So I want to make sure I, I think somebody uh, clipped it in chat. Yep, sword skills. I got it. Nice. Because that really was an outstanding moment. Uh, that was pretty crazy. So let's let's rewatch that. Um. No. Here we go. This is also Trip X from Pocktails. Check it out. This was yesterday. Um. No way. 
Okay, that's amazing. And Ithwal on ladder. And Spyglass cut as well. Oh, no, wait. Okay, what? Did you oh, see that? Did you see that? that? Trip X. Why, why, why? What is that? Oh, my goodness. The Trip X with a sword launch jumping. So get off my boat, he says. I've only seen Fox die, dude. Yeah, that's wild. Okay, let's show that again. Focus on the top view. That was Trip. Um. No way. That's amazing. And Ithwal on ladder. And Spyglass cut as well. Oh, no, wait. Okay, what? Did you oh, see that? Did you see that? that? Trip X. Why, why, why? Wow. What is that? Oh, my goodness. The Trip X with a sword launch jumping. So get off my boat, he says. I've only seen Fox die, dude. Yeah, that was crazy. Let's go. And those are two people you do not want on your boat, too. That, that's really even huge, too. Oh, yeah, no joke. Yeah, and Ethel well, Spyglass, but those are absolutely insane, insane players. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, Purple Turkey does have one. Let's go. Purple Turkey with a clip. Let's get it. Nice. Uh, okay, let's go. They all... This is so cool to see it because you really got to... You win as a team and it's amazing. They all have something amazing to show. So cool. All right, let's get ready for the clip from Purple Turkey. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Here we go. This is Purple Turkey. Let's watch it. I'm reballing, I'm reballing. Trip, grab one. I can't. Coming in so close. Oh! Let's okay. fucking go, dude! Got it. Oh, oh my god! god. Wow. Let's <laughs> fucking go! Big, baby. Woo! Wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> the oh, hype shit. is real over here. Oh, shit! <laughs> the backsplash <laughs> and then the regrab. Yeah, no, imagine that. Oh, imagine it. He almost if he, lost. Yeah. Yeah. He almost. Yeah. That was the backsplash, but in instant reaction. Instant. It's like, oh, goodness, we have to sell. <laughs> oh. They almost yeah, the didn't win because of him. They Let's almost fucking didn't go, win because dude. of him. Ooh. Let's fucking go. That's, that's nice. That's some composure right there to, to get a grip under so much pressure. Oh, shit. <laughs> You can see it, they're just letting out the steam with that. Woo! These players are not messing around right now. That is crazy. They stay not even close. Okay, okay. Good. <laughs> is there anything else? Purple Turkey sent me that clip himself, so I guess I'll just wait a few more moments if, in case that uh, Ob Obelis or... Yeah, that Doink King coming. Okay, we're gonna wait. Doinkster is coming. Here we go. Oh, nice. this is um, this is hard. This is really hard. How are we going to decide MVP? <laughs> the, the clips are just going. <laughs> That's why Chad's deciding today. What? Yeah, we need your help because this is just insane. Okay, let's go. The next clip is featuring the Doinkster, who was playing Bilge in the second half of the series today. Go. And these are the last moments of that game seven, I believe. So let's check it out. The Doinkster. All right, here we go. Shoot, grab one and go shoot. <laughs> shoot, boys. Getting shoot, this. Shoot, boys. Shoot, boys. Ooh. Come on! Let's go! Oh, the bucket reg! Come on. Oh, you yes, push, push it did. Re -ball, re -ball. Twice! Yeah, bugger rig twice! Okay. Oh. Oh. Go shoot. Grab one and go okay, shoot. that's go. crazy. Okay, so I'll, I'm gonna pause at the moments when the reg happens, and like a lot of people, if they're not paying attention, you just backsplash. You think the water's out, you backsplash, but the doinkster, one minute left in game seven has the composure to, to catch it and, uh, and seconds yeah seconds sticking down too seconds seconds let's let's see it here shoot boys shoot shoot boys shoot boys come on let's go that's the first instance whether the water didn't go inside of the bucket come on boys. there it is that's the second instance where the water looked like it left the bucket but it didn't actually so if Doinkster were to uh, tr go for another grab, that would be a backsplash, pushing everything into middle deck. And we know 
that the the pocktails did end up sinking but it was like a millisecond after the game was over so this was really this would have been a sink this would have cost them the the whole series and he didn't throw it that yeah that is um focus right there yeah Go yeah shoot. and even at the end here i want to just point this out when it reaches this point the, now the doinkster can't do anything else from here because when the water level reaches above map table you cannot no longer uh bail out of the grate you can't grate bucket anymore so at this point just completely relying on the teamwork and you can see both trip X and turkey ready on buckets it really is a whole team effort there and that really showcases that so and we know what Turkey was doing, throwing water back in, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, well, <laughs> well, we've seen a lot of clips there. We saw Juan with the main cannon nailing every single shot. We saw Trip X with some motivational talk and some really Jack Sparrow-like sword lunging abilities to guard the ship against borders. We've seen Purple Turkey with some great shots as we come down to the last moments of the game to, to get that W and then here the Doinkster as the bilge so calculated to do the millisecond so calculated to keep as many of his teammates on the cannons while he held down the boat on his own. That is just crazy. How are we going to pick MVP? Well, that is up to you guys, the viewers. Okay, so now we shall begin the voting process, so let's go. And by the way, I just want to say, while we vote and in all the celebrations, we're going to be listening to the metal version of the NAL theme that is by our very own Captain Sadok. This is an absolute legend on the electric guitar, so let's go. So much talented stuff here in the NAL. Let's get hyped. MVP voting time. Let's go. We need your help. Who is today's MVP winner? We need your help. Let's go. So right now, our mods are conducting this voting process in the chat. We've just witnessed some insane clips. Pay attention, we're having the poll in the chat new poll who is who is today's mvp get in there let us know this is close wow this is really close Would you vote for Rage? Oh goodness, it's hard to say it. I uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the Doinkster. I don't know though. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm switching around. I'm. I haven't clicked the vote button. I look at Juan. I want to vote for Juan. I look at purple turkey. I want to vote for purple turkey. I would. I look at every position. Oh, it's so hard. I'm not gonna vote. I will not vote. It's completely up to you guys, the viewers. I can't do this. It's too hard. They all did so well. Yeah, I've appreciated this whole tournament. The villages have been really keeping these boats up and doing a good job. Obi was doing a great job. Obi could have even been in there too. He's doing a great job too. This whole tournament and going doing a great job there. Trip had probably the best clip. I would say Trip was the best clip, for sure. Yeah, well, the clip, of, yeah, I mean, that was the sword lunge off the ladder thing. That is, that moment lives on in my memory. Like, no matter what, I'm, that's not, I'm not forgetting that. I am not going to forget that. So, who will be the MVP? Let's go. Make sure you get this. It's, all, it's coming down. Just a few more moments to go, everybody. Don't forget to vote in the chat, and here we go. Ah, oh, crap. Why'd y'all vote Doink? <laughs> <laughs> it is Doink. Doink is today's MVP. 
Let's go. The Doinkster. The Doinkster. Today's MVP. That is just absolute clutch. Great, great stuff. So let's get ready to, to talk to the Pogtails and celebrate their victory. The Doinkster. Draft MVP. Whew. That sounds real nice. Okay. Here we go. So let's bring in the winning team. And we'll talk to all of them. All right, here we go. Oh, this is hype. Dra oh, okay, guys, the capstan is coming. Don't worry. Hold your horses. We are not there yet. <laughs> we gotta celebrate first. Spam Pogtails instead. Spam Pogtails, yeah. Pogtails in the chat. Let's go. It is a Pogtail victory. Let's get it. Uh, the more Pogtails spam, the faster we'll get to the, <laughs> the capstan. <laughs> okay, let's bring him in. Bring in the Pogtails. It's the bottle thing. All I right. Anyway. Let's go. Being joined right now by the Pogtails. Let's go. You are the first ever Dude. draft champions. Dude, congrats, oh. y'all. Congrats. Let's go, man. You guys did My absolute work. Clenching. I'll tell you what. One of my favorite things that you guys did was you used all your five players of the draft. That was yep. awesome to see it. That's super cool. And then when it comes to MVP, like you could really highlight all roles with something amazing contributing to that win here today. That was super, super awesome to see it. How are you guys feeling right now? Sweaty. Sweaty. <laughs> Sweaty. <laughs> Shake it. You know? Yeah. Excited. It was good to actually win something. You know, <laughs> let's go. Hey, you we know, put man. a lot of work in this. And, past and a week, huge question so. here too is, uh, Trip, what was your when you were drafting this team? Did you have that in mind of having two bilges so you could switch them out, or? I didn't. I didn't. Um, honestly, it naturally. Yeah, honestly, like I was sixth pick, so I had limited people to choose from, and it, it all worked out. Well, hey, definitely did. I mean, that's why y'all won. So. <laughs> Yeah, it was an incredible thing. Was there anything that surprised you about today's series? Um, Close it was. I, I <laughs> yeah. guess we surprised ourselves because we were definitely down and out after the first three games. Um, we did get one first, but we had two fourths. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we were, we were pretty far behind. And... Uh, you know, actually, 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 both both uh, us and the Pixel Breakers were pretty far behind, and oh, yeah. those are actually the two teams that finished on top, I believe. So that yeah. was surprising to see. Yeah, it was crazy for a while. Oh, so so many God. people were saying in the chat, "Yes, yes, showdown." <laughs> well, <laughs> were you guys sweating a bit thinking about that? Nah, uh, we knew, we knew. We knew. We knew. Game seven, we had to win the game. Yeah. And were you aware of how many first places they had as well? Yeah, yeah. we were. Oh, okay. We were too, ah, right? okay. 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 I see. I see. And uh, another thing, what was going through y'all's mind when there was only like, like two minutes left? And the spam kind of left click. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a long laughs> yeah, you were. You guys were in fifth place with two minutes left. Y'all never gave up. When we saw Blue's backside, I knew that we were gonna win it. We had too much power. 
I started freaking out when I saw both those boats there demassing. and y'all had the picking of either one, and I was like, this is it, this is it. I was freaking out. I, and yeah. Something we did a really good job of there is we actually turned green into a farm as well. They were a fresh ship, so we actually shot over blue to them to try to get two ships to farm. That was a good <laughs> job. Holy Absolutely God. insane. So now you, I, you all get that uh, amazing draft trophy that you can bring in. Uh, to your teams for now and once we update the the website each player is gonna have their own individual trophy case So that will be forever with you there. That is amazing history. I guess yeah. the Pocktails the <laughs> Pocktails have a legacy now. Let's go <laughs> 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 Pretty pog for the Pocktails um, Pocktails on top and uh, and then of course, let's not forget that Doinkster you are the draft MVP I mean, whoa oh, crack. Go doink. Whoa Really cracked player Fucking deserves that. Out shit, of all dude. the people, why you, Doink? <laughs> <laughs> Let's check this out. Such a sweet trophy. This is one of the latest trophies that we added, and it is... It's one of the most beautiful right there. There it is. The Doinkster, the draft MVP, with an amazing nice. bilge play there at the end. That really... I mean, you guys sunk a millisecond after the game was over. It was that close. <laughs> you are the MVP of basically the all-star event of an AL. Let's the best go, of the best, NA going. and EU was in here, and you're the MVP. Yeah. Crazy to what think. Is, what is life? <laughs> <laughs> I, came, I came a long way. Started playing yeah. in July and put in a lot of work. The win MVP, it, it's crazy. There you go. Still the I, number I, one most benched builds. Yeah, <laughs> number one most bench build. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna be in the bench anymore after that. I mean, everyone got to, you got to be crazy to put him on the bench, guys. Come on now, that is insane. I don't, I don't win that trophy without this team. Yeah, it was a teamwork. Everyone got to see it. I'm so glad we're doing MVP awards because we really got time to like sit back and just breathe a bit and see how each role contributes to the win. It was so so awesome to see. <sighs> For sure, everybody played awesome. All right, well, Akub, let us know. What did they win here today? All, all are going to be receiving Obsidian six-pack codes. Uh, and Doink, sadly, is going to be receiving a Obsidian Capson. Uh, and all of y'all are receiving Sneak Energy gift cards. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Sneak Energy, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> there you go. That is the price for Do we get to choose our flavor, or...? You get the gift card and you can choose whatever you oh, want. Oh, gift after card! That. Nice, nice, yeah. awesome. <laughs> Let's go! That is hype. And okay, and now, so the Pocktails are happy. Now it's time to figure out who is gonna win the Obsidian Capstan. It is time. The viewers now. You helped us Me. figure out the the MVP. Now it's your time to get rewarded. Let's go, <laughs> Capstan coming in hot. Let's do this. Oh, but you know what? Actually, I wanna. Uh, I have to say, there's there's a certain line I have to say. Uh, th this is oh. this is fun. This is fun. I have to say it. So, join me, okay? Join me on the. Oh yeah. All right. You ready? Pog tails. Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, this is the Notorious Arena League, and today we saw the the Pocktails is the best crew on the seas. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. 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 Let's, go. <laughs> Let's go. The oh yeah of the NAL, you know it. Let's go. We have it. The Pocktails best crew on the seas. Oh yeah. Let's go. <laughs> You, you should make the uh, the enter into the the giveaway, the doinkster. Oh yeah, well there you go. Let's do it. Let's do it. To enter the obsidian capstan giveaway, let's go. It is none other than our MVP, the doinkster. Let's do it here. Let me show you what you need to do to enter the giveaway. Exclamation mark. 
the doinkster exclamation mark the doinkster in the chat oh hold on let me reconnect chat there we go do it in case that you uh you did it too early just type it in a couple more times it wasn't coming in at first but now i see plenty of names going <coughs> exclamation mark the doinkster in the chat to enter today's obsidian capstan giveaway and while we wait for people to come in in case you didn't know the nal we have our own sales in sea of thieves one of the most exclusive cosmetics you got to be a champion of the league to get them we are currently in the off season so look out it's a great time to get started with your team to get involved in the community and get ready because the seasons are coming season 7 na and season 5 of eu and it's going to be absolutely wild f talk with the sub let's go check out the nal sales we'll come back for the giveaway here we go When you become notorious, this sales will ensure that your victories are recognized. Let's go. All right, coming in. Uh, V1, thank you so much for the sub. And wow, Yettle with the 10 gifted sub. Let's go. Thank you so much for your support. That is awesome. Just a few more moments left to enter for today's Obsidian Capstan giveaway. So let's do this thing. I hope the luck is on your side. Because we're going to be rolling this thing. We'll roll it as, as soon as the sub uh, notifications go away. Let's go. Let's see. Whew, we got a bit, of, a bit more time. <laughs> We're just halfway through it. Oh, goodness. It's got to come in. Actually, let's let's play one ukulele song. That should be enough time for it. For the remaining people to get their chance to enter. Here we go. Let's do it. One uke song. So, oh, you know what would be great? Country Roads. That would be fantastic. So, we're going to do Country Roads. We'll roll this thing. I am feeling it. They shall be. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Someone do be. 10 more. Let's go. Thank you so much for the hype. Let's get it. Let's go. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Virginia, 
Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home. Country roads, country roads take me home to the place. Let's go. All right. And off of that amazing country roads. Now it is time. Let's roll this giveaway. Let's get it. I hope the luck is on your side because we're rolling in three, two, one, and rolling for the Obsidian Capstan. So many names, who is it gonna be? And more importantly, did they stick around to hear the entire ukulele song? <laughs> Let's go! Oh! Oh! Plagued! Alright! Wow! Let's see it, you gotta interact in chat once more! The claim, your prize! Woo! Plagued was ready! With the Oh yeah, let's go! Plagued, you are today's Obsidian Capstan winner! Let's go. Let me explain how, how this is going to work. So right now, one of our wonderful mods will be contacting you right here on Twitch. So make sure you pay attention to your whispers. We're going to be asking for your gamer tag. So give it to us without any typos because your reward will be getting applied straight into your in-game inventory. Alongside the rest of this week's giveaway winners. So you can look forward to that. We'll be sending out a tweet early next week, either Monday or Tuesday, in our account here, at Notorious Arena. So also make sure you check us out there on Twitter. As soon as you see that tweet, that your rewards have been applied, you'll be able to jump in-game, and you'll find it right there and then in your in-game inventory. For those who did not get the win here today, don't worry. We have plenty more giveaways every broadcast. And if you enjoyed the, the competitive Sea of Thieves, lots of insane action. If you like it and you want to get involved as a player, you should figure it out here. First step, go over to our website, NotoriousArenaLeague.com. You can also do exclamation mark Discord in the chat to join the Discord and get involved. Absolutely insane, Akub. What a blast, this draft. It, it was amazing. Absolutely. Great fights, suspense, everything. It had everything. Let's go back and remind ourselves how things ended on the night. Look at that, the Pocktails. We ended up seeing a tie for first. 45 points, Pocktails, 45 points, Pixel Breakers. But the tiebreaker was the number of firsts. The Pocktails had three, Pixel Breakers had two. And that made the difference here today. But incredible performance, Double Gunners, very strong, coming in third. The Furious Flintlocks in fourth, and the Mutant Smolders, they came in, they gave it their all. It's been absolutely insane, but I want to give a shout out as well to all the other crews in the, in the draft. I mean, this was possible. Let's go once again here and, and recap all the amazing teams that, that were involved in this tournament. The Sword Lords, absolutely amazing. 
great players. As Akub was saying, this was pretty much like the all-stars of NAL. The first time we've done anything where uh, we have a hybrid tournament where we're playing in both uh, the EU and NA servers and all players from the whole community. So this was really, really great to see. So there we have it, the Sword Lords and the Flintlocks. And we also saw the Blunder Bandits. They did so good. Huge shout out to you guys. They had some good comebacks. And then, of course, Double Gunners. They started that first half. You could tell the power of being in the, the EU servers. I mean, they definitely were a power force there. Same with the Flintlocks. They were going to town. It's definitely more difficult uh, once uh, it swapped there for the, the second half. We also had the Drunken Sailors. Huge shout out to them. Really, really awesome to see them. And of course, our draft champions. We now know the Pocktails. There you have it. We just talked to them. Tripex, Purple Turkey, Obelisk, the Doinkster, the MVP, and Juanincher. Huge shout out as well to the Silver Seekers. Captain by Ninja, there you go. And that was the crew that was trying to board uh, on trip when he pulled off that Jack Sparrow maneuver to, to sort of launch them off. And then we have it, our uh, runner ups tied for first, 45 points, insanely talented Pixel Breakers. Came down to just the number of wins. Then finally, Let's hear it for the Mutinous Molders. They had some issues today with uh, some of their crew not able to, to come play because of work, but they made it work. They came in, they found someone, they put on some good fights, and then finally the Reaper Runners. Really awesome. We featured the, they even have the Anthem. Shout out to Beard Again for that one. We, we, we got to hear that yesterday. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> the 10 teams involved. And, and of course, we got to give a lot of credit to all the staff behind the scenes. They have been absolutely amazing doing claps so much. Claps in the chat. Yeah, claps in the chat. The, the staff, there's so much stuff that is behind the scenes, making sure that everything is smooth, talking to the players, setting up all the lobbies, doing so much to make this possible. They deserve so much love. A uh, huge shout out to Aziel Nerub making this sweet 3D graphics that we've enjoyed all throughout the weekend. Really awesome, special for the draft. Something that uh, we put a lot of love into and I hope you got to see it because we are re very passionate about the game and especially the competitive side. Uh, we put so much love into it and we hope that you got to see it today. Uh, of course, very special thanks to Akup. Really a great part of the whole, this project, bringing the idea and then uh, just we, you know, and sponsoring the prices for the event. So let's go. Oh, dude, no, thank NAL. Thank y'all for making my idea become a reality. You know, it was just an idea and y'all made it a reality. So thank y'all. Let's go. Yeah, we put a lot of work into it, a lot of love as well. But, you know, it's about the, the players and the teams making a difference. You know, we're a great community. Uh, we wanted to always give as many fun shows and tournaments uh, different opportunities for the players and the teams we hope that you all had a blast you know that was the most important thing that you had a good time that you enjoyed it for the viewers we hope that you loved the tournament this was really cool to to put on purple turkey already asking when the ne next draft would be i would imagine it would be after the next season but i guess it depends you know the the trophy is labeled q1 so we could see maybe once every quarter, so four times in the year, it's possible. Uh, I had a feeling this would be very popular, so that's why we, we labeled it Q1, but we'll see. And, uh, and with that, goodness, we'll go off and we'll see which of our notorious partners are online for that amazing raid. Let's check this out here. We gave some love to True Edits yesterday. So today we will go to... 
We will go to Serpents. Serpents is one of the latest of the uh, of the notorious partners. We haven't yet put him in the partner video, but he'll be coming in. And and there's another one as well that I'm very excited for. Wesley Sanguine, Captain Sanguine joining the notorious partners. So let's go. So we'll give some love to Serpents. Thank you all so much for coming in today. We hope to see you back. You can expect some cool stuff. We're back here in the off season, but doing some great things. Look out on Monday for some announcements regarding what's coming up this week, this this next week, and, and we'll see you. Peace out, everybody. Thank you so much. We hope you love the show. We'll be back next time. Thank you, Aku. Yo, thank you. Y'all have a good one. Let's go. Jeez, man. Jeez. Hey, maybe, maybe I'll have my moment. Other guy. Pigs on me from side out, you know. Let's go give some love to serpents. Thank you so much for watching, everybody.